scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when who bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Hallelujah. Acts chapter 1 and verse 8. Tonight is a very strange night. I've spent the night praying on these oils that you see. And I tell you the truth, what it will work in the lives of people will surprise them. I promised that I was going to take a few testimonies and I wasn't able to come as at the time, but I understand that there are a few very striking testimonies. Please let me have the, the details. Just Okay, go ahead. Hallelujah. Um... This is Usman Augusta. Okay. Jennifer, Jennifer John Oleku. Where is that? I hope they can hear outside. Please, if it's your name, ushers guide them very quickly so they can. Samaila Chindu. Grace Heman. You can put your hands together for them as they come. Gloria Jaja and um, Fatima Abubaka Besson. Okay, the following. Would you repeat it, please, one more time? Usman, Augusta, Jennifer, John, Oleku, Esther, Samaila, Chindo, Grace, Heman, Gloria, Jaja, and Fatima, Abubakar, Besson. Are they here? Wherever you are, please very quickly make your way to the front. Acts chapter 1 verse 8. While we wait for them, I hope they are around. Acts chapter 1 and verse 8. This is Jesus speaking to the disciples now. And he said... But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. It says, and ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in Judea and in Samaria and to the utmost part of the earth. Very, very interesting. It says, you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come. And he never said that power will make you a preacher. He never said that power will make you a prophet. He never said that power will make you an apostle. He said that power that you receive will make you a witness. A witness. Listen very carefully, I'm teaching now. Are we together now? A witness is not a prophet. A witness is not an apostle. A witness is not even a man of God. A witness is an individual who has been authorized to prove that Jesus did not lie. Are we together? When it talks of witness, that's all right if, if they are not around or they are not within the vicinity, that's okay. We can continue with what we are doing. A witness is one whose assignment is to prove the validity of a statement. Is a defender. Are we together now? It's a legal terminology like you go to the, the court of law and you are asked, do you have a witness? At the point where whatever action was taken, was there an individual who can attest for you? Now, remember we were not there when Jesus died. But the Bible says there is something that the Holy Ghost can bring to our lives. Are we together now? And it says that anointing, that power can make us witnesses validators validators 
of the claims of Jesus. Listen, without a system for validating the claims of Jesus, there is no reason to be a Christian. Are we together now? Yes. It matters that the claims of Jesus be validated in the life of the saints and in the territories where they are domiciled. It matters that men know that this Jesus that we seek and this Jesus that we serve, listen carefully, is not just a mirage, he's not a doctrine, he's not just theology, that he's alive and lives forevermore. And there is the power that makes us validators. Are we together now? It says we shall receive the power. I hope that you people are not coming out of any pressure. Please make sure you are not. Are we together now? If we just have two of them, that's okay. They can just, it's just a token um, of the testimony so that I can fulfill whatever it is. Can we pause for a moment and, and, and then let's hear their testimony. Come, my dear. Just tell us quickly. I don't have your name here. Praise the Lord. My name is Jennifer John Oleku. For four to five years now, I have a lump in my right breast. But after the prayer last night, this morning I was dressing and then I checked myself. It was gone to the glory of God. Completely. The lump. How long? Four to five years. Four to five years. You checked this morning. Yes, sir. And it's gone completely. Hallelujah. Give Jesus praise. We do not take for granted. You know, you people are so used to miracles in this place. When something happens, you just laugh and um, never get familiar with the presence of God. It says that, um, how did he put it now? I, I'm trying to remember a scripture that the Bible put. Um, Philemon chapter 1 verse 6. I can't remember the, the, the quotation, but I remember the verse. Philemon 1 verse 6. Give it to us. There's no point struggling when we can read it. Philemon 1 verse 6. Can we have it? Okay, I'll just turn there. I just wanted to encourage us with that scripture. One moment, my dear, and I'll pray for you. Philemon chapter 1. And verse 6. That the communication of your faith might be effectual by the what? Acknowledging of every good thing that is in you in Christ. So the communication of your faith is effectual when you take note of the slightest thing God does. Lord, I had a headache yesterday and all of a sudden it's not there now. The Bible says it can boost your faith. The communication of your faith is made effectual by the acknowledging of every good thing. There was a lump on my breast and now I've checked and it's not there. While I'm trusting God to give another miracle, I do not ignore what he has done. Are we together now? In the name of Jesus, may the Lord perfect you. Never, never returns again in Jesus' name. Come, my dear. Let's give Jesus praise for her. Go ahead, your name and your testimony. Praise God. My name is Gloria Faga. Yesterday you prayed about those I can't hear with your right ear. After the prayer, I was able to hear. Couldn't hear with your right ear? You're sure? How long? 20 years now. Um... How old are you now? Do you mind? <laughs> Hallelujah. Interesting. And, and for that long, for 20 years, what happened? Just that pain in me. And, and that was it. And right now you can hear with it. Which of them? It will never return to you again. In the name of Jesus. The same way the Lord opened your ears, may every part of your destiny be opened. In the name of Jesus Christ. Give Jesus praise. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Thank you so much. So we we're discussing Acts chapter 1 and verse 8. Now, while Jesus was on earth, please follow me carefully. While Jesus was on earth, the Bible lets us know that he lived an invincible life. He lived a life of power he lived a life of intelligence. He lived a life of grace. He lived a life that was full of the Spirit. And when you begin to read John 15, John 16, Jesus began to tell us, please listen, that he was going to introduce us to another comforter. 
another helper now most believers read this and they just think that okay he was just talking to pentecostals please listen you have to understand this for what we are doing tonight to make sense are we together those outside are we together and so jesus said to them i have many things to tell you now but ye cannot bear them now how be it when he the spirit of truth is come he says he will guide you notice now jesus is teaching he will guide you into all truth he will take of the things that are mine and reveal to you the bible said it's the holy spirit that convicts the world do you know one of the things that i've learned about the miraculous is that miracles on their own never never change people are we together the disciples saw every kind of miracle in the ministry of jesus and even when he resurrected the bible says some doubted they saw the sick healed they saw the dead raised they saw whatever would happen happen but they had the effrontery to doubt jesus the scribes and the pharisees they were represented at every crusade yet with what they saw they still doubted jesus without the presence of the holy spirit there is no genuine conviction that's why you can see people clap over fantastic miracles carry the testimonies around town and never change themselves they are celebrators of the finger of god but they are never benefactors of that grace so jesus began to teach us that the holy spirit has a ministry to believers he has a ministry to unbelievers and jesus said that he will reprove the world the fallen system of men of sin of righteousness of judgment and then to the believers he will guide them in all truth he will do this and that the bible began to tell us all the things that jesus would do now let me tell you this one of the things that i have discovered is that most believers cannot separate between the present day ministry of christ and his ministry while he walked on earth are we together now and so most people still wait on jesus to do what he has left the holy spirit to do for us you have to listen to what i'm teaching you now are we together now jesus said it is expedient advantageous for you that i go why so that the comforter the helper the same word that is used for a woman in the life of a man the helper will come the helper will come that means jesus was saying come jesus was saying he that told i represent the presence and the ministry of the holy spirit to you but shortly i'm going to go away but i will not leave you comfortless is that true someone else will come to hold your hands and continue is the greek word alos paracletos the word alos means of the same kind heteros where we get heterogeneous means of another kind another species so another person is coming and he is no different from who i am in terms of ability in terms of purpose in terms of function it says when he comes he will continue my ministry everybody say continue my ministry so the holy spirit today represents to the body of christ what jesus represented to the apostles are we together most people jesus help me jesus save me i know that it looks emotional but jesus has no business helping you and saving you today he has already done that he's seated at the right hand of the father making intercession for the saints that's the limit of his ministry now the personality he has sent on earth to represent his voice his plan is the holy spirit are we together now yes you pray to the father agreed you pray in the name of Jesus, but the personality sent on earth to walk with the believer, to cause the believer's life to be an unfolding of beauty and glory is the Holy Spirit. Never claim you love Jesus and ignore the Holy Spirit. That's hypocrisy. There are so many people who love God sincerely, but the unbecoming of their lives and destinies and families it can be traceable to their ignoring the holy spirit it's not that they don't believe in him they know he's somewhere one of the godhead somewhere and he's on earth if you are interested if you want power go to him and since i'm not a preacher i know he's just there if that is your understanding about the holy spirit you will never become victorious weak people feeble people 
But the Holy Spirit came upon their lives and turned their lives into signs, turned their lives into wonders. They shook their generation. The Bible says, time will fail me to talk of Gideon and Jephthah and Barak. Look at these ordinary women. And in our generation, we talk of women like Catherine Kuhlman, people like William, um, 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 what's his name, Seymour, and all of these great ordinary people, born like any other entity. But when they encounter this personality and they dare to trust him, look what he did with their lives. The Holy Spirit can change anybody's life. My life is a testimony. Don't trivialize the Holy Spirit. He will make a wonder out of your life. If you're with me, say amen. amen. We have ignored the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Pastors have ignored the ministry of the Holy Spirit. I wonder what a pastor will be doing ignoring the ministry of the Holy Spirit. There's no ministry without him. What are you teaching? That's the reason why we have too much talk with no demonstration of the validity when i talk of demonstration i don't mean falling down and rolling no i'm talking about the life producing power it says when i came to you i did not come with the excellency of speech but the demonstration of power that your faith will not be on the wisdom of men sophia but on the power of god we have a generation full of theologians and theoretical people and we men of God keep proposing. Do you know what, how dangerous it is to keep whetting the appetite of people about what God can do and then they never come into that experience. There is a difference between the waiting of faith and hopelessness. The waiting of faith is that you are sure you have engaged what will bring an expected end. And you are simply allowing the law of process to find expression. Are we together? The Holy Spirit takes ordinary people and turns them into wonders. The Holy Spirit is not for men of God. Please let me burn this into your spirit in the name of Jesus. The Holy Spirit is not for men of God. The Holy Spirit is for all believers. He is a real person. He can be known. He can be related with. It's just that we have not been taught. We've not been taught the usefulness of his person. The Holy Spirit today represents the unlimited presence of Jesus. He represents the power of God. He's the manifestation of the glory of God. The Holy Spirit is so powerful. He turned Jesus to a seed and put him in the womb of a woman. What can he not turn? In Genesis chapter 1, when you read, the Bible says, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And then when you read verse 2, the Bible says, Now the earth was dark and formless and all of that, just like the lives of several people. Dark, void, formless, scattered, families scattered into pieces. And the Bible says, He's the creative force that began to hover around. And then God spoke, Let there be. And there was. And he said it was good. Remember, the goodness of God cannot be seen outside of the Holy Spirit. The only reason why it became good was because of the Holy Spirit. I look at my life today and I imagine what a failure I would have become without him. It's not about oratory. No, it's his presence. We are all gathered today, scattered around and people following, connected from all over the world today from this location because of the holy spirit when you believe him in your life sister he will turn you into a wonder i'm telling you this when you believe him in your life this is not the issue of being a christian this is an issue of saying holy spirit you were sent by jesus to be an extension of his ministry everywhere you see the name jesus in the experience of the disciples you can safely replace it with holy spirit aside from salvation the work of salvation on the cross when there was no wine they ran to jesus so when there is no beauty and freshness in your life you run spirit of the living god you represent jesus for me jesus is not physically here in cana but i come to you and he says i you are correct i can bless you when jesus was moving and he saw certain people idle he said why sittest thou idle they said no man employ us he said go and a job came so you go to the Holy Spirit and say, Spirit of the living God, this joblessness, you represent Jesus to me. 
an extension of the ministry of Jesus. When the tribute, remember Jimmy's powerful teaching, when the tax collectors and the wicked system of this world came to embarrass the sons of life, it was Jesus that instructed Peter, go to the fish. And now you run to the Holy Spirit, Spirit of God, my finances. There are bills to pay. I don't know what to do. I come to you. An extension of the ministry of Jesus. Are we together? Yes. Everything, literally, that Jesus was to the disciples, to the then civilization of man, is who the Holy Spirit is to us today. It's who the Holy Spirit is to us today. Jesus sent the disciples and told them to go two by two and they returned in power they said master even the devils were subject to us through thy name and he said do not rejoice because demons are subject to us in your name rejoice because your name is written in the book of life this is jesus speaking so now when you need empowerment to go and represent jesus because he is not there physically you go to the holy spirit you have to be the one to send me to that meeting i'm going for that crusade there are blind eyes, there are deaf ears, there are all kinds of people. The power of the Holy Spirit. We're going to talk about power shortly. But I'm introducing the person of the Holy Spirit. It has been my cry for years that there be a generation that not only seek God as a hypothetical reality, but that you can come to the Holy Spirit. Facebook has taught us that you can relate with someone without seeing his face. Like some of you have friends. You've had friends for years. You've never seen their faces. Yet you have even been connected to their emotional impulses. You know when they are angry. You know where they are happy. Yet everything was through chatting. It is possible to know a man without seeing his face. Hmm. How could you do ministry without the Holy Spirit? What are you preaching? Sister, how could you dare get married without the Holy Spirit? What do you want to do with that marriage? Give birth when there is a wicked devil that wants to close your womb. Brother White, you want to get married without him? Don't you know that marriage is a triangle? He is the first person and then you and the wife are under. You go two of you like a string, you are in trouble. When two of you are apart, it is him that brings you back. The Holy Spirit. People do business without him. We carry our pride all around believing that we are educated and we ignore him. And we watch our wisdom fail in the presence of circumstances. How many preachers just come out with our accolades and we believe, I have experience, I've been in the ministry for 30 years and it's very clear there's no result in our lives. Listen, I'm reintroducing the person of the Holy Spirit. You may have experienced his anointing, but do you know him? Do you know him? He's the secret behind this ministry you see. This young man standing before you is dangerously in love with him. He is the secret behind this life that you so see and admire. For he truly brings beauty out of your life. 32 verse 15 Isaiah. Until the spirit be poured upon Joshua Selman from on high. And then this life that is an utter wilderness. Now becomes counted for a fruitful vine. And a fruitful vine be counted for a forest. He truly brings beauty and glory. I'm not asking you whether you are educated. I'm not asking you whether you can speak English. I'm not asking you whether your father is in politics. I'm asking you do you know him? He's brooding over every darkness. You are causing light to shine from darkness. Lord, you are brooding over every darkness. You are causing light to shine from darkness. You are brooding. Over all my darkness, you are causing lights to shine from dark. 
you see li listen listen brothers and sisters let me tell you something we live in a society where nobody believes in you don't sit down getting angry that they don't believe in me they deserve to not believe in you but you ignore them and walk with the holy spirit give him time and watch the wonder he will produce he met a young virgin called mary and said mary the angel came on his behalf just believe and watch what will happen that you can be pregnant without a man that it is possible that because you did not have the privilege to have a godfather somewhere can anything good come out of nazareth and the holy spirit says hold my hand and he said lord i can't even talk like moses don't worry hold my hands and he turns you into a sign and a wonder and people say is this not the lady we used to know beauty and glory that you in a little one room somewhere you are still struggling to raise seven thousand and pay but you bring the holy spirit i don't have a big house but i invite you into my room i tell you his presence will squeeze you out of that room and take you where it looks like him that's the holy spirit for you he's the lifter of men this thing is not magic it's not just prophecy I'm telling you this listen to what I'm telling you if you are a man of God here or you are called into ministry or you have the call of God upon your life listen twice close down any ministry when you don't know his presence because you are on the way to utter frustration I know this about him he's brooding over all my darkness you are causing Lights to shine from dark. Lord, you are brooding over every darkness. You are causing lights to shine from dark. I remember in, two, in 2004, standing and witnessing crowds like this in Reinhard Bonke's crusade. I saw what the Holy Spirit could do with a young German, not so educated, not so fluent. He didn't have, even have a lot of rema. He didn't have it. My God, but I saw a presence. I saw miracles. I saw transformation. I saw people who should not be in that crusade ground. You will know he brought them there. And I said, this is what I want. How could I do ministry and be lying to people and begging people? I don't think I'm as smart as people require for ministry i don't think i'm as intelligent as people require for ministry so i ran to him cover my shame cover my shame i may not have the opportunity to have been born by a billionaire i didn't have the privilege that society demands but cover my shame lord i admit that i'm weak and the holy spirit said hold my hand let's go let me tell you, it was a vision. This is where this ministry was birthed. By Sunday, Koinonia will be seven, uh, seven anniversary of Koinonia. But let me tell you this. I remember I was standing in that vision. I was standing and I saw a whole generation of people. They were crying. It was fear that took me there to that building. And I stood, I was watching. I could not see the end of the people. And I said, what is this? And then some of them were murmuring and they were saying there's no food and there's no water and then i said who is the cause and all of them were pointing to me and say you are the reason why we do not have food and water and i said kai i have to go out and rescue this generation but i was afraid because there were wicked men outside waiting for me all of a sudden i took a bold step as soon as i opened the door I saw a giant man waiting and he said hold my hands let's go and that's how we started jumping building after building i remember one time i he jumped a building and was waiting and smiling waiting for me to come and i said if the secret is holding your hands then may my hand remain with you forever when that was happening you were not there but you were in the loins of prophecy please i i i don't know how to beg you don't ignore what the holy spirit can do in your life this power and these miracles you see is not just chasing around and saying lay hands on me god is not a fool walk with him and watch him surprise you walk with him 
I remember those nights when I would just find a corner and just be praying individually. You know, when I see young ministers now and this our appetite to be known, appetite to be seen, I just nod my head and I say, these gentlemen have missed it. Little power, they want to be recognized everywhere. They want to be known. Invite me for meeting. Call me apostle. Don't call me brother. It's nonsense. When his power smells you, even to the farthest part, they said they shall call you. You won't call yourself. They shall call you ministers of our God. There will be an evidence of his hand upon your life. I remember the first notable miracle that happened of a gentleman. Then phones just came out and they were making calls. Somebody whose spine was fractured. Remember that miracle? The guy's spine was broken into pieces completely. And all of a sudden, it was with that call. It was in the night. I was going to browse and then pray. And all of a sudden, I called that gentleman with a bracelet, confirmed here. And I think then it was um, the other place there. And all of a sudden, with just one single prayer, brothers and sisters, that gentleman removed that thing and ran to his mother. The only thing I had was Jesus. The next day, the way you gather for funeral, that's how they gathered in that house. The father had the boy was healed. They said, who did this? They said, it's one brother, Joshua, not apostle. All these showmanship people move around today. They don't pray. They don't fast. No mentorship. They don't listen to anybody. They just brag around saying, I saw a vision. I had a dream. I saw a ministry. Sit down and walk with him. Don't ignore him and look for fame. You would die young. You are brooding over every darkness. You are causing lights to shine from God you are brooding, brooding over all my darkness you are causing lights to shine from darkness I will never forget one day when I, I spoke to the Holy Spirit about my financial issues and he said forget about that a time will come when god visits you he visits you completely there are times he says forget just you are walking with, leave the issue of finances let me work on you otherwise the finance thing will kill you there are people where you start with god there is there should not be mention of power in your dealings with god you will see god flogging an aspect you can come to church we teach about something else when you are done the holy spirit will say save that book we'll talk about it next year let's go back to what we are discussing and you will see him talking about something that has no business with the subject matter allow him to work on you jesus jesus when he's done with you and he brings beauty and glory out of your life you will look at yourself and you will be afraid you say lord is this what you planned look at a poor village girl like me look at a poor village boy like me and he says that's exactly what i want to do to show that there is this treasure in earthen vessels to show that i can take the weak things oh god i'm a poor girl from kaduna state somewhere lord i'm an illiterate somewhere in the south he says don't worry hold my hands don't al allow the proud system of the world that think they are the alpha and the omega of growth and rising walk with me do you know we have ignored the holy spirit so much where you talk about him like this people just look at it from the lens of intellectualism i'm not against that and they just look wow impressive sermon he's brooding over all your darkness you are causing light to shine from darkness you are brooding you are brooding over every darkness, you are causing, you are causing light, light to shine from darkness. There are people who were looking for money when we were seeking his presence. Till today they have not found it. Till today. They would never focus on him because of money. 
there were people who could not settle down they were so obsessed about ministry and briefcases and pa and men and women following their ministry regalia and would not settle down to seek his presence till today till tomorrow they are still suffering some of them are not even in the faith again please hear me koinonia let's settle down with the holy spirit let not just because you are a leader not just because you are a worker settle down with the holy spirit and say holy spirit i'm not in a rush with you do with me whatever jesus would have done with me and you watch what you will become the holy spirit will turn your life around turn your wilderness you will look at yourself one day and say is this me lord what is this that you have done when gentiles begin to come to your light and kings to the brightness of your rising do you know because of the way the lord began to lift me and because of the way the lord began to lift this ministry i prayed a prayer i said lord i want to ask for a favor from you please do not show me the full impact that i'm making in the lives of people don't show me how far i have risen in the eyes of people just show me a token so that pride and self-centeredness will not destroy me let me just know i'm changing lives but don't show me how far my reach has gone and god answered that prayer it's still my prayer till tomorrow because i don't want anything to distract me let me not hear that there are 12 millionaires in america who listen to my messages every day and then you now say wow 12 millionaires in america that means i'm becoming a big man uh -uh. so god helps you by concealing the extent of your impact you are changing lives all over but you never know how far because he wants you to continue is god speaking to us why have we lived our lives without him let me just talk on three things thank you thank you doctor very quickly before we pray three ways the holy spirit works with believers three ways number one the first ministry of the holy spirit in walking with a believer is supplying divine direction divine direction guidance guidance and direction guidance and direction let me show you something that i found while i was studying exodus chapter 23 and verse 22 powerful scripture exodus chapter 23 exodus 23 23 he said but my angel shall go before thee and bring thee into all of these people and i will cut them off my angel will go before thee and bring thee this was this you see the the people of old did not have a system of working with the holy spirit corporately and so based on their understanding the lord taught them every time he would say he was sending his angel to represent his presence are we together he says my angel shall go before thee not that you go and then he follows you before thee and he shall bring you to different regions the Hamorites, the hittites the perizzites the canaanites the hivites and the jebusites and i will cut them off i'm giving you victory but that victory will be through divine direction we will go step by step guidance by guidance place by place notice how god led people in scripture he took them from one place they would conquer this land then they would go to this land many lives many lives and many destinies today have been scattered into pieces because people guess their way the bible said there is a way that seemed right unto a man a preacher a businessman a father a mother he says but the end thereof are the ways of death my angel will go before you and guide you moses said do not let we will not leave this place if your presence will not go with us he says my presence will go with you and i will give you rest notice every time his angel his presence his angel his presence and when he leads them they return with great and strange testimonies many of us are yet to explore the leadership of the holy spirit let me teach you one big secret with the leadership of the holy spirit never take a step until you are sure he's the one leading you this our world of hurry for everything i just I, I just feel 
that my job is in UK. You go to UK and live like a thief there. Whereas God has destined for you that is in a quiet bomb where you are, he will lift you. But because he could not direct you, there are many people who want to do ministry and they think it's by running to America, by running to wherever, or running to Abuja, running to different places, divine direction. When God directs you, it was never my intention to still be in Zaria at this time. No. As wonderful as it is if it were on my own i would prefer to be somewhere maybe in one of the cities around the world but divine direction divine direction when you read genesis chapter 26 the bible says and isaac sowed in that land i'm sure that isaac wanted to go somewhere to run for the famine and god said no 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 for others they can go but for you the secret to your prosperity is hidden in that divine direction we do not respect his leadership. He says, the Lord is my shepherd, so I shall not want. I shall not want. The Lord is my shepherd, so I shall not want. There are many of our families that are in pain today because we ignore the leadership of the Holy Spirit. Very powerful. Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 21 isaiah chapter 30 let's hurry up quickly isaiah chapter 30 and verse 21 popular scripture about the leadership of the spirit in the life of a believer isaiah 30 okay it says and thy ears shall hear a word behind this saying read with me everyone this is the way walk ye in it when ye turn to the right and when you turn to the left that god will guide you on your way going he said this path looks good but this is not for you he said lord but other believers are following it he said that's it's all right but for you this is the path wait on me sometimes he can say mark time and remain in one place lord but others are going he says don't worry you are still moving you don't move because your legs are moving you move because my word is moving you so even when you think you are standing in one place it says you are moving because when you turn you see that you have gotten there you shall hear a voice from behind you hear me people of god you shall hear a voice from behind you saying this is the way oh you have a job but let him lead you let him guide you when god leads you he defends you where he has led you there are many preachers today in regions that god did not send them and they are struggling as if they are not anointed there is a place prepared for you only god guides you there when he sends you to your prepared place everything follows you favor follows you his mercy follows you ease follows you difficulty can be a proof among other factors that there is something you are ignoring about the leadership of the holy spirit in this kingdom we excel through divine direction not just efforts the lord is my shepherd i shall not want he leads me beside the still waters he restores my soul he guides me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake yea though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i fear no evil why because your rod and your staff they comfort me stop living your life without the guidance of the holy spirit you can't live your life and be guided by movies guided by all kinds of godless books guided by individual opinions guided by cultural opinions it's time to return back and say holy spirit guide me if you are not in this let me get out three days before koinonia will start this 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 aspect of the ministry's activities three days i went back for a retreat to reconfirm from god lord are you still the one or is my ambition if god ever said i'm not the one that's it it's just to apologize i'm sorry i thought i had god but he's not the one never be ashamed to retreat from whatever you are doing when you realize God is not in it. it sometimes is this our pride that keeps us in trouble when you find out that oh I used to think God was in this but now I'm realizing from growth that God was not we still come down and say how will people really know don't put yourself in trouble everybody say divine direction 
let me just give you one quick secret on how you see you must understand the voice of god this is generally speaking you must understand how god speaks i just need to give you one one direction just one scripture that i found that really blessed me john chapter 10 verse 35 the voice of god must always agree with his written word and must always agree with his character of operation remember the bible says the kingdom of god is in three things righteousness peace and joy the moment these three forces coexist the kingdom of god is within that environment and here's what the bible says it says if he called them gods unto whom the word of god came and the scripture cannot be broken your experience will not break scripture he says the word of god came to them and the scripture cannot be broken just because a word came to them the word that came to you and the word that is written must agree the word of god came to them by revelation but the scripture can still not be broken because the word of god came so the speakings of god will always be consistent with his written word and will be consistent with his character because there are times that what god is speaking about you may not find a direct scripture for it but the character of how, how god operates must be consistent are we together most people hear every kind of nonsense from the pit of hell and they say yes lord from the beginning of the voice to the end of it it contradicts everything god please don't let anybody threaten you with any prophetic word and anything that is not consistent with the written word of god are we together yes if you look at me now and prophesy to me and say apostle I saw you having an accident tomorrow I keep quiet and hear you if you stop there you didn't hear God because the Spirit of God will never stop there if it is it may be true that you saw an attack but then continue it to prove that it is God I saw an accident but I am speaking by the power of God's word to stop it but I saw an accident and that's it no sir no sir no sir i saw that your wife is a witch congratulations i uh have -huh. continue let me hear that's it that's all just leave her no sir that's not god god does not speak like that if you claim to be a man of god and your wife is a witch you are foolish you are not anointed it means you are not even a man of god because your ministry should be demonstrated there and then the validity of your anointing should be proven there let's be careful we have ignored scripture and so all kinds of words you see people just fighting one another in the name of dull visions that are not consistent with the word of god the devil uses the faces of people when god wants to lift you he will now try to use a face of a man of god or somebody you respect and come to you and press you and you get up in ignorance and say ah, you do not know that satan can masquerade as an angel of light the bible already gave you that information I must balance this issue of the voice of God because Satan has mastered the art of deceiving a generation that is not sound in scripture. We are so passionate about the prophetic, which is important, but we must balance it. Especially for we who are men of God. There is always that drive to give people word and we communicate words that are not consistent. There are things I've seen about people. I know that it's an attack from Satan but i also know by the power of the word that revealing that thing to them will not edify them it will destroy their faith so i withhold that prophecy and rather intercede for them because there is a spiritual level they must mature in for that prophetic word to benefit them god sends the word your maturity guided how it was delivered say the voice of god please let's be careful i'm not teaching you to hate the prophetic i'm not teaching you to be cynical i'm not teaching you to see a man of god making mistakes in delivering the prophetic and then getting angry at them 
but please let's be careful because some of us have already been swayed by the deception of satan we get up and we hate everybody we hate every man of god every woman of god because of all kinds of false visions fabricated from the pit of hell he said even if an angel brings another gospel that means satan can masquerade as an angel of light It's one of the greatest reasons why men of God should pray before coming on the stage. I'm not praying when I come on stage for miracles to happen. With all humility, I will lay hands on a goat and it will come and stand here. And the goat is bleaking and you see people falling under the anointing. You will think it's charm. That's anointing. But the accuracy of delivery is why we pray. That, oh God superimpose my weaknesses and my humanity so that your word will pass through all my limitations and still become spirit and life to your people that's why we pray we don't just pray for miracles and signs and wonders to happen the anointing is there to make it happen are we learning something the voice of god must never come um must never relegate the written word of god in your life the second way that the holy spirit functions in the life of a believer is by giving to us divine strategies everybody say divine strategies say it again divine strategies we win in this kingdom through mysteries but the mysteries are a revelation of a strategy go and read it when you go home joshua chapter 6 and verse 1 to i think 21 or thereabout verse 1 to 21 21 verses talks about how jericho was destroyed it was not just destroyed because god was powerful it was destroyed to a divine strategy nowhere in the bible was that strategy used again are we together when you stand before the challenges as a ministry I remember when this ministry was starting i went to god and i cried to him i said lord what there is a general financial strategy but what is the financial strategy for this ministry that will keep us pressure free and not allow us manipulate anybody and here it came it was revealed another ministry may try it and it may never work for them there are ministries if you sell free materials I mean if you give free materials like your salmon and the rest there may not be any other avenue for revenue there are people who do that just because they want to copy and their finances go down and they suffer for nothing you must receive a divine strategy lord in this marriage what is the strategy for training our children in this marriage what is the strategy for living in peace you can get the general communication but you must stay with God to receive a unique strategy. Lord, in this ministry, what is the strategy for ensuring efficiency? Say divine strategies. That's the Holy Spirit for you. So he leads you divine guidance and direction. Number two, he gives you ideas, strategies. When you stand before any mountain, let me give you an advice. Like the mountains that stand before you tonight. Don't be afraid. There is a strategy. God has given us the strategy for tonight. Is that true? God decided to anoint this oil and say with this oil coming on everybody, I will work wonders and strange results. It's a strategy. It's a strategy. So he gave us a strategy to fast and wait upon him for seven days and then round up with this mystery. This oil was in my room all through the night, soaking in the presence and the glory of God. It's a strategy. Are we together let me tell you one of the ways i prayed on this it was in a, in a big it wasn't like this i literally opened it and i was confessing god's word and speaking and laying hands you will think the oil cannot hear i've, I've taught you that this is a living thing this is ordinary oil but when the anointing comes the same word i'm speaking to you is the same word receiving it is just like someone speaking to you directly it's more than just oil touching your head you will see what it will do in your life hallelujah hmm. jesus spoke to water and asked the people to fetch it and go and they were going and the water had what jesus said and it started changing to wine jesus jesus spoke to two fish and five loaves they had him 
and he commanded them to multiply and told the people go and start serving when they started everything was multiplying there were 12 baskets the third way the holy spirit ministers to the saints is by granting access to power access to the anointing just talk about this briefly and then we'll pray so we've spoken briefly about divine guidance and direction please those outside i know i know you're writing make sure you participate no matter how far just find a corner if you cannot write at least listen divine direction the lord is my shepherd the angel of the lord going before you number two strategies revealing to you mountains fall not because of the effort that is put but the strategy that is applied every military person will tell you that the difference between um being victorious or being victims in a war is the strategy that is employed and then number three access to power supernatural power acts chapter 1 verse 8 but ye koinonia but ye joshua selman shall receive power kabbala kotia power is the word dunamis you shall receive power after that the holy ghost is come upon you and it shall make you witnesses unto me both in jerusalem in judea samaria and to the utmost part of the earth peter was speaking in the house of cornelius in chapter 10 and in verse 38 of acts chapter 10 verse 38 it says how god listen now how god anointed jesus of nazareth the word born on earth from nazareth but still had to be anointed to be efficient just quoting scripture does not bring you result the word must be anointed to profit you how god anointed the word with the holy ghost and with power and he went about the word see listen the written word becomes the sent word when it is anointed it is the anointing that turns the written word to a sent word you want to write that down that the written word becomes the sent word when the anointing comes upon it how god anointed jesus i understand how god anointed paul i understand how god anointed peter but god anointed jesus the word until then he was the son of the carpenter but the anointing turned him to the Christ, a sent one. And the Bible says he went about doing good. For us to understand this, we must go to Genesis chapter 1 and see the things God say are good. He calls creation good. He calls plants coming out of a barren ground good. So there are things that are, do you know the Bible says he went about doing good, comma, and then healing all they that were oppressed. So it's good to heal. It's, God, it's good to produce miracles, signs and wonders. But there are other needs in men's lives. Their finances. The assault of wickedness in their lives. The struggles that the devil tries to put them under. The yokes of bondage. The Bible calls it good. You do that with the anointing. Listen, you never bless men just because you are kind. It takes the anointing to do good lord just bless me so that i can help people pay their rent you see my heart your desire is not enough brothers and sisters there is an anointing that empowers you are we together now then you can prosper and do good doing good is warfare because satan will fight it lord i want to get first class so that my getting first class will give me an opportunity and then i will rise and glorify you that glorify you is what satan had every other thing is jargon he had glorify you and he says fight him in his final exams cripple him with sickness let something bring him down it takes power to subdue the wicked forces that trap down the lives of men when members come one week two weeks one month two months they give you two months of their lives and there is nothing to change they will not come again let me tell you don't even waste your time to think they will be sympathetic you look at them and say ah i didn't see you in church again say pastor i'm busy say lie there's nobody that is busy people are looking for solutions if there is no solution they will give excuse then one day they'll say please don't talk to me again i'm an adult i can choose to come to your your church or not 
that means they are telling you i'm tired i made up my mind that i will never be a powerless man of god when you are a powerless man of god you are not only bad you are wicked because you will be like that fig tree that attracted men jesus himself fell into the temptation of that fig tree he ran and came there and stood where is the fruit and the tree said sorry he says come and jesus cursed it in anger and said no fruit will come out of you again tonight we need power brothers and sisters we live in a wicked world there are some of you here in your whole family you are the first that will rise it takes power to rise there are families that when you rise an alert is sent to the realm of the spirit and there are controlling powers that for decades have sat upon the destinies of men they dare not hear that you want to rise he's going abroad and you see an uncle just coming and say i heard that you are going to london say by the grace of god uncle say congratulations you shake his hand and they just call you somewhere you wake up the next day one leg cannot walk the other day your ears cannot hear well are we together by the friday your passport is missing powers he said through the greatness of thy power every village including my own has witches and wizards they know i'm on earth it's not that they love to leave me to do ministry power power kabbalah kotaya he said behold i give you power exousia power step into my shoes step into my office listen i'm trusting god that after tonight you will no longer be at the mercy of principalities and powers there are some of you who cannot go to the village the last time you went what happened to you even you you were scared but now you go to the village and overnight in three hours you hear that things have you were not praying oh you carried something mysterious to that village two weeks after your arrival you see five buildings springing up a development that the devil has refused anybody that organizes crusade in your village never finishes after two days he's sleeping and he dies come on now the devil deceives you listen i have studied satan carefully because i didn't like the way i was afraid of him my fear of satan was getting too bad and i said no i can't be afraid of satan like this i need to settle down and study him one of the ways you conquer fear is to study what gives you the fear and look at it and say what is in this thing really what is in it what is in satan that threatens people i found out the strength of satan is ignorance satan works with information he plants that seed to you so a spirit you are sleeping in your house and you hear something on your zinc that's satan now he knows and watch what he begins to do he used that experience to plant pictures in your mind what could be there hi an arm robber is there no not an arm robber the other day that's how my grandfather said anytime you hear that sound barrenness is inevitable any and listen he's working with your mind you are you are having faith in that thing the moment your faith is there because whoever believes there shall be a performance it doesn't matter what you believe you hear that thing in your zinc and get up he that cometh from above is above all jacos kata let me tell you the truth the devil will go back there are demons when they send them to people they disobey say no 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 they disobey the implication the risk involved in that espionage is too risky devilish habal is somewhere they carry your name because a brother say he wants to marry you and you say no then he carries your name to a herbalist and the man has the effrontery to call your name let him try it after tonight listen listen i'm not motivating you i'm demystifying satan this fear of satan is why many of us never rise i cast out devils almost every day and i sleep sound go and ask them and nothing shall by any means 
whatever i do against god has nothing to do with satan this is between me and god the law is nothing shall by any means so that you don't just say i was angry i shouted at my wife today hey, hey, hey. satan is coming you are joking my shouting at my wife is god i owe an apology as for you the casting remains so regardless of the condition nothing shall by any means listen to me i'm preaching to you don't let satan deceive you no sir god is not like that we have misrepresented him and it has given access access for the devil jesus finished whipping people and flogging people in the temple and went straight for a crusade and casted out all kinds of devils do you believe what i'm sharing with you the anointing it is the anointing that brings favor it is the anointing that brings increase there are some of us anything they give you remains like that forever there is no potential of growth i have seen people in my life listen i have seen people in my life that have been surprised you see them 10 years ago you see them 10 years later and ichabod the glory has the, they are still the same way same house same room same financial level I say, ah, Luther continua. Victoria is scattered. That's a cost. Never say that thing. The Bible said the path of the just. It takes power to keep shining in this wicked economy that we live in. Someone just sees you and say, uh-uh, you are the last born in a family of 12. What audacity do you have to say you will feed us? There are families where it's the women that feed the men. Do you know that? No matter how hard working, you rise up as a man something must happen to crash you shout no way Haba, there are families the men never reach 50 they must die and leave the children for the innocent women you see women old women in a place where are the men some of you they've already told you that the moment you are 25 there is a stranger that comes to you there is a secret nonsense marriage in fact there are some of you you did all kinds of occultic things by your parents you still have rings and the rest and now you are born again and you are now asking those demons have refused to go there is something you can engage in let me tell you that will shatter that yoke into pieces when i discovered who satan really was i stopped wasting my time i said so this is what has made me afraid you are not even the worst of all spirits come on now satan's assignment is to magnify himself in our lives he loves it when he's magnified out of proportion now don't get me wrong those who claim satan is cheap and he just give away i hope that while you are claiming that you have the requisite arsenals to ignore satan just as a result of pride and say i can just quote his scripture he will eat you up and spit you out don't get me wrong satan deserves that honor for being a cunning serpent for many years it is through knowledge that the just is delivered not through bold face for nothing are we together listen nothing changes in your life until the anointing comes you have to believe this hmm. time will never change anything in your life time will never change anything in your family time will never change anything in your marriage time will never change anything in your body when god wants to help you he introduces the anointing the holy spirit the custodian the conveyor of the anointing are we together in the bible when men encountered the anointing it spelled a change of story in their lives it was very clear that when the anointing came upon them it was time ordinary people in the bible aaron and his sons moses joshua down the line when the anointing came upon them they changed in strange and mysterious way someone is changing tonight someone outside is changing tonight you you may be among the crowds hear me some of you are even at the overflow there you are just standing and watching and saying god could you be talking about me yes sir yes ma he's talking about you don't mind what they have said about you let the anointing come on you and you will watch your life brothers and sisters change in a way and manner that will surprise you 
I have seen what this anointing can do to people. I have seen people change in supernatural ways. This anointing can translate to the power to get wealth. That in two weeks, two weeks, 14 days, a man's life can change. He will be like, God, what is this? What is this? A gentleman shared with me, one of, one of my boys shared with me um, a, a story, very, very touching uh, testimony. The mother had been following this. And I think it was just yesterday night or so. The mother got an alert from somebody of over 300 and something thousand sent to her yesterday i don't know if she testified here or it was read i said they should come and testify think about that it takes power you have been tolerating a lot of nonsense in your life tonight you have to be angry and say lord i'm tired of getting angry with satan i need the anointing i need the grace what you are receiving tonight is impartation impartation is a transference of possibilities impartation is not the rubbing of oil on your head you can carry ordinary oil that you can use to fry egg or or cook rice and just say love blah, 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 just and rub on your head and you just rub something to make your skin moist it doesn't produce it, it, oil is not a charm this jar of oil you see will do you no good until it is anointed so it's not just because there is a jar of oil are we together now the jar will not just do you good just because it is anointed. Many people idolize oil. Idolize it. those things in themselves don't give you any power. It takes power to come upon them by a vessel that is anointed to make it anointed. Tonight, brothers and sisters, I agree with God for you that your life will change. Tonight, I agree with God that there will be expansions and explosions. What will this anointing do to you tonight? Or do for you tonight? Number one. This anointing that is coming upon you tonight will bring you into a dimension of strange favor. Write it down. You need to know what the anointing will do. Because you've been receiving all kinds of anointings. But what was spoken into the oil? You have to believe it. God has given us samples of breakthroughs in the course of these seven days. Favor is real favor can happen to anybody anybody strangers can arise to favor you yes sir you can have money and not have favor that you have money does not mean you have favor favor is not about money coming favor is about men coming and whatever they come with that includes money but not left for money alone if you have money and you don't have men coming to your life you don't have favor favor is known by the strange coming of men to come and meet your need not to come and inconvenience you the second thing that this this anointing this impartation that is coming upon you is a strange grace for multiplication it's called the meme shark anointing please believe it there is a grace that can come on a man's business upon his career upon his ministry and take you right from wherever village you are and give you a voice it gives whatever you are doing wings in the spirit it's true can turn a musician's life around can turn a businessman's life around can turn a preacher's life around you are there seated and god do you know I don't know how many times I've had these testimonies. Some of you listening know it's true. How many times angels appear before people in meetings and transfer koinonia messages and leave. They come as human beings. A service is going on or after a service, give strategic people messages and then just walk away and go. Angels don't just act as if they are foolish. They act in response to what the Holy Spirit tells them. The anointing is the director of how and why angels function. Understand this. It's working in me. It's working in me. It's God's ability. God's ability. It's working in me. It's working in me.
listen the third thing this anointing will give you is unusual influence please believe it influence is not something you bully people to get influence is not an issue of age influence is not even an issue of i've traveled abroad there is an oil there is a grace he said because thou has loved righteousness and hated wickedness even god thy god has anointed you with an oil of gladness above your fellows there is an anointing that can give a man influence there is a strange grace that can give you influence among your contemporaries you are the last one but god gives you a voice listen you know one man of god was talking to me one time and said apostle how come it looks like in your ministry you never lack excellent hands and i tell him you can't look for those people by putting cv there is an anointing that draws people that draws a kind of people you will find the best of the best of everything in this ministry it's not pride i'm telling you the secret today it's not just some searching around the internet to say you are good come no there is an anointing that brings them when that anointing comes upon you god can bring just five people to your life that will give you what ten thousand people cannot give it's not always about quantity it's about quality god will give you two friends that will be equivalent to 90 friends in your life the grace for influence i have seen how men of god have ignored this grace and they have tried to bully men of god they have tried to bully others they have tried to usurp on young people you are my son you are my daughter by force you are my this just because they are hoping they will use the people to climb it's not about all those things it's not about being mean you see me greet people here after service i'm hugging the children because this influence and honor is an anointing it's not by doing bold face and acting look i don't play child's play all that one is is is, is complex when that honor is on you people will look at you and not know the reason why people are strangely loyal to you the anointing brings loyalty in a strange way that's why god must make sure you walk with him so you don't take advantage of people listen people don't just become loyal to a man just because no 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 it's not about giving people money you can give somebody money who will insult you tomorrow loyalty is not just by faking it's not even by wearing good clothes you can wear anything you want to wear there is an anointing politicians know this that's why they go to habalis and collect charm and find out that it's like a whole territory becomes loyal there are great leaders who oppress people pastors who oppress church workers they are looking for loyalty you are praying for somebody you hear somebody say ah Ejimi is praying for me no i'm the only one you am the boss in this place that's insecurity this grace for influence can sit upon your life and turn you into a wonder i have seen what people has have done to this young man talking to you i've had to beg people to cut down on certain things so that people don't persecute me and say human beings are worshiping me influence influence it's not by manipulation there is an anointing that brings for influence and it's with all humility i say it you don't go around any part of this city and see one single poster one single handbill not for anything yet there are people there sitting on the fence look at the people that have come sitting on the fence five overflows there about seated everywhere over 47 nations of the world brothers and sisters it takes an anointing it's not just grammar i'm not the smartest preacher i'm not the deepest preacher in terms of revelation i pray for you that this grace will come upon your life and change you in a way that will surprise you hallelujah i travel all the time with the head of department of media and um, there's it's always a team of uh, from worship team media and then the protocol and he asked me a question i think it was early this year he said why don't you allow that the photos you have snapped or the encounters with some of the big people in this country why don't you allow let's put it on facebook you know ah this guy snapped with this this guy snapped with this one and i told him i said it's not necessary 
it's not necessary that you see me snapping with um for Lord Rinsho, like or snapping with this person and I say oh you mean this guy he has met the vice president he has met this all those things are human ways of trying to get this anointing if this thing is on you bar it's on you period if it's not on you it's not there it's as simple as that it's not about all this manipulation and so you go and borrow a jeep and sit down and say great is thy faithfulness it's not your car you are looking for respect no or you go and steal the picture of a crowd i'm not i'm not being sarcastic please don't get me wrong and say well there is a revival 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 and you carry another man's crowd and put and put pictures of somebody holding crutches whereas is why fake what can be real in your life there is a grace for influence lucifer carried it the anointed cherub that covereth he can cover a territory with his ideologies i have seen people on this earth with that anointing i have seen business people with that anointing i have seen families with that anointing hill song that's the anointing walking there you see those young boys just strumming their guitar yet you don't know what takes them all over the world there are people carrying that grace joyce mayer you listen to her and you are sleeping yet you cannot know why her book will go even to your village you go to your village and see somebody reading the book and you are wondering and say my cassette my my what they call it my my cd i waxed an album i'm just a few kilometers to my village it refused to enter there there is an anointing meme shark the strange grace that's what happens to the messages that's what happens to what god is doing in this ministry do you believe that this can come upon you yes sir can come upon you number what now the fourth anointing that i believe and i trust god i trust god with all my heart that you will receive is an anointing for strange signs and wonders strange signs and not just signs and wonders strange signs and wonders that through your own hands the things that god will do to you will begin to surprise you we just started the the public relations department this year and i remember one time meeting with the leaders and they were telling me of the dramatic miracles that are happening while they pray for people on phone now these gentlemen love god and they are filled with the holy spirit but probably they did not it, they did not anticipate that you can casually just pray there is an anointing that can come on a rod a rod ordinary rod and it will pass the red sea there is a grace for signs and wonders that somebody comes to you and says sister i hear you attend koinonia i cannot meet apostle but i hear you attend koinonia and you say what is it he may be busy but let me pray he has prayed for us that grace is working say you say let's just pray and he said, Father, I lift up my voice to you concerning this woman. I hear that supernaturally they need 500,000 by 10 o'clock tomorrow. I agree with you. And by 1 a.m., the woman gets an alert, 500,000 dot. She will run to you and say, woman of God, what did you even say? She won't call you sister again. It takes a woman of God to produce that miracle. That you can go back home and say i came back from an impartation in koinonia and your father said what does what good does that do to us go and see all the letters that are piled in the table there number one they have said your mother is dying number two they have said your other sister nothing is wrong number three they have said your sister is about to leave her marriage next week because everything is in shambles and you say can you just give me a few hours you carry those letters and you know that these hands are an extension of the hands of jesus they are not just instruments to eat because something came upon it and you say father in the name of jesus i agree with you i agree with you and all of a sudden by the next day that man is sleeping and an angel of the lord appears why are you doing this to my daughter behave yourself it is because of this your heaven is not closing and she wakes up in the morning and the guy is there kneeling down he said let's let's make this work let's make this marriage work are we together some of you will take this anointing back to your churches 
and God will use it to help your various pastors. You know that they are sincere. Some of them love God and they are crying for these dimensions. But how to access it is what is not there. And God says, can you help that man of God? He loves God. But the reason why the church is going down is because there is no supply of this dimension. Signs and wonders. Supernatural signs and wonders. Supernatural signs and wonders. The last thing that I'm going to pray for is grace for a dimension of kingdom wealth and prosperity that will surprise you. If you don't believe it, you can write the other four and leave this one. It's unto you according to your faith. I have told you, I am very vocal. I love the Lord by the grace of God and with all humility. My passion for God and for the things of the Spirit has been vetted by the body of Christ. And so when I teach about finances and I talk about this, it's not in any way to promote carnality. But I will never sit down knowing the benefit of kingdom wealth and prosperity to the quality of your life, to your children, to your family and kingdom advance and deny that dimension, finding expression. It's a grace that is upon my life. It's a grace that is upon this ministry and it's a grace that must speak in your life. I think his promise that says it so beautifully that entering into a level of wealth and abundance will reduce your prayer points and increase your prayer life that your prayer's time will be spent worshiping god not saying oh god this rent oh god tea oh god there is no sugar and you find out that you waste six hours crying needless cries oh 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 oh, oh. for wealth this grace for wealth if you don't believe that there is such an anointing called the power to prosper i've taught you that there are three dimensions of wealth there is transactional wealth wealth that comes by selling your value whether your education whether uh, an idea whatever it is that you take there is transformational wealth wealth that is given on account of a perception of your impact in the lives of people but the third dimension is called sovereign wealth. Wealth by the finger of God. By the finger of God. All of them are important. But brothers and sisters, for some of us, the emergencies in our lives require God showing up like the man of war that he is. We are going to sing this song one more time. And I want you to open your spirit truly. Because as this impartation happens, as this oil comes upon you to round up these seven days we are going to sing the song and then we'll pray please i want you to be tired of where you are in life be tired of where your family is hey, hey. Oh.
how it works in this kingdom that we understand the systems of the kingdom and we engage them through knowledge and change not a few people command complete transformation complete transformation hallelujah let's pray father say it again father in the name of jesus tonight i declare that i'm tired of my current level i'm tired of where i am i'm tired of where my family has been kept tonight by your anointing lift me to a new dimension open your mouth and begin to pray new dimension in ministry new dimension spiritually new dimension in finances pray oh, lift your voice and pray Shakata pata kete da banata, pata de to wata lata keta. Shakata pata, shakata kete, shapata keto kete, shalata eli to wapa, para de kete, shakete kete, zepete berata, zepete kete kete kwa. hallelujah Isaiah 10 27 and it shall come to pass in that day tonight is that day and it shall come to pass in that day that the burden shall be taken from off your shoulder and the yoke the yoke of delay the yoke of retrogression the yoke of begging as a generation that yoke shall be taken from off your shoulder sure. he said and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing say in the name of jesus in the name of Jesus, every cause, every yoke, every spell, every enchantment over my life, over my family, I declare that by the anointing, it is broken forever. Lift your voice and pray.
Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. By the authority. By the authority. In the finished work of Christ. I declare. To principalities. To powers. To, powers, to familiar spirits. To familiar that tonight. I have been called out of every tribe, every covenant, every enchantment. The sins of my fathers will no longer work in my life. I exempt myself. Lift your voice and pray. Every covenant. Rika to kavala gadeya, ito palate, shipata, ipara gade talaba kusa, ipara gade 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 that has covered my glory that has covered my every glory every veil every veil that has hijacked my honor that has hijacked my in the honor. name of jesus in the name of I jesus i tear that veil to pieces lift your voice and pray cover your glory Jesus, arise shine Arise, arise, shine, arise, arise, shine, Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I speak. I speak to every area of my life. To every area of my life. My spiritual life. My spiritual life. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. My body. My body. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. My finances. My finances. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. Family life. Family life. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. My career. My career. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. By the anointing. By the anointing. Rise to destiny. Rise. Lift your voice and begin to. Pray. Every aspect of my life, rise to your place in destiny. Hear the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. Two more prayer points. Ah, yeah, yeah. There's fire burning in this place. Listen, the Bible says, listen carefully. It says, Saul, the son of Kish. Kish lost his donkey. It left him. It was his means of livelihood. And it left. As soon as they encountered a man with an anointing, the donkey started going back home. Are you ready to call back things that have left you? Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every relationship. Every relationship. Every opportunity. Every opportunity. Every unction. Every unction. 
every access every access that left my life that left my life by the anointing by, by the anointing i call you back i call you lift back. your voice and begin to pray business opportunities educational opportunities i call you back i call you back i call you back I call you back. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Favor. Favor. You are a dimension of the Holy Spirit. You are a dimension of the Holy Spirit. I open up my life. I open up my life to your influence. To your influence. Lift your voice and pray. Favor. Favor is not just a thing. Favor is a spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, I'm going to be guiding on how this oil will be distributed and I'll give us instructions. But in the next two minutes, please. The specific issues that must live your life now not tomorrow listen now if you don't have faith for it now pray on something else are we together now there are things in the bible that say as they went but there are things that the bible say immediately listen release your faith i'm not a fool release your faith don't just sit down and say can god make a wilderness overnight Abba, we're talking of god here If it's time for you to get pregnant as a wife, don't just look and say, I've not met with my husband. No. You get pregnant at the instance of the word of God. You are sick in your body. There is a load of challenge on you. There are demons oppressing you. There's all kinds of fire on your mountain. It's time for you to have a testimony. Open your mouth in one minute and tell the Lord the things that must live your life. Every one of them. Every one of them. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, please listen. Please listen. This is this is the crescendo of this seven days prayer. Many of you, what God is about to do in your life now, it will surprise you, ba? truly speaking, in a way that will make you respect God in a fresh dimension. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, there are so many people, and this is what will happen. Um, I'm going to appoint a few people now. In this auditorium, there may be just three of them. And then, overflow one, overflow two overflow three everything from the the last place of the fence of cgc right there is overflow four and then those standing at the back of overflow three just at the back of overflow three that's overflow five are we together now so this is the main auditorium so you understand what i'm saying overflow one all the people here overflow two right from wherever till 
the end of CGC fence. Overflow three is the main um, the 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 space outside there. Overflow four is everything from the end of CGC's fence to wherever people are now. And then overflow five are those who are standing across the corner right to the other street there. That's, that's the overflow. This is what we are going to do. Please make sure that this oil comes upon you. Even if you have a child, even if the child is sleeping, just touch the child. You don't have to fetch the oil and try to idolize it. It's not about idolatry. Just a touch. You can take one if you like, put on your head. And Did you bring all those documents? We are going to pray. Just leave them. Don't worry. Leave them there. We are going to deal with them. Please be patient with me and let God surprise you tonight. Amen. Are we together now? Except it is not God that has instituted what we are doing. Some of you, you will not even be able to share the testimonies. You will watch. It will be, people will ask you, which charm did you hold? What happened to you? There are some of you in ministry that will go back after tonight. You will, you will stand like this and say, so this is how God works. This thing is not trial and error. God is a God of systems. Are we together now? So I want you to agree with me as we pray. Please, no distraction. Forget about this is not husband and wife now. This is you standing between you and God. This is not neighbor. We came brothers and sisters. Leave anyone you came with. This is your destiny with God. Now is not the time to laugh and pinch around like the devil who want to cheat many people now. It's at this time where he told Elijah, if you can see. He was looking, but he said, if you can see. There are some of you, as this oil comes upon you, all of a sudden your eyes will be open. And you will see strange supernatural things. So be sensitive. Hallelujah. Be sensitive. Um, what will happen is, there are five. Five, so we can do three, three. That means three bowls here. Yeah? We'll fill it with the oil. We'll keep adding. And then three outside. Please protocol work so that we can arrange it. Please, I know that there are lots of people. The protocol people are smart enough. They have been trained. Everybody will receive of the oil. Especially for overflow four and five. Please, our securities, please help us. So that we don't have any chaos. Everybody just be patient. The oil will get to you. Don't just try to hold it and try to turn it in a jar all alone. Be patient. Be patient. If you have a bottle of oil after service, I can pray for you on it. But for now, just cooperate. Please, let's not make the place rowdy and let there be no fighting. Just cooperate with any official you see within your area and in a few minutes will be done. While all of that is happening, the worship team will be leading us and then we are going to pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, we lift up this jar this is ordinary oil you have led me to pray over it but father i pray by the anointing of the holy spirit we are not acting you are real lord prove your power in an unusual dimension tonight in the name of jesus lord i pray for every single person upon whom this oil will come those who are online you can get any bottle of oil or anything around you and connect by faith as i'm praying is reaching you there lord we call this the oil of strange results we call this the oil of wonder we call it the oil of favor we call it the oil of influence we call it the oil of increase and expansion we call it the oil of revival let prayer lives jack back to life let the gifts of the spirit be activated let mantles come upon your people in the name of jesus christ I decree and declare by the anointing of the Holy Spirit father strange dimensions in the name of Jesus strange dimensions strange fire strange dimensions strange dimensions in the name of Jesus be the first partaker of this grace be the first partaker the first partaker in the name of Jesus the first partaker of this grace be the first partaker of this grace in the name of Jesus please come and hold this be the first partaker of this grace in the name of Jesus Christ be the first help him please the first partaker of this grace in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus now 
Pastor Jimmy will be here. He'll be standing here. Victor, um, the protocol, please coordinate it. It's going to be very fast. Um, just bring the jars. Turn them now. Turn them. Turn them quickly. Let's just fill them. And then we'll go to the respective places. Please, let's be in an attitude of prayer. What you're going to do is just follow as they direct you. Once they receive it, they'll go down there. Someone hold the jars. I believe there's still some more. You just touch it on your head. Don't touch it on any document. Don't worry. We are coming there. You return back to your seat. You are blasting in tongues and prophesying everything that must appear in your life. Are we together now? Thank you, Lord Jesus. Lord, we pray that let there be miracles right now in the name of Jesus. So some of you will be watching them so that the ones that are almost finished. As you make and hold one, you can stand here. Whoever is standing with me, Aaron, please the rest, speak it to your various places. Father, we anoint this oil. And in the name of Jesus, as it comes upon people, let there be strange results. From the main auditorium here, overflow one, overflow two, overflow three, overflow four, overflow five. Change the stories of people. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Hallelujah. God bless you. Go ahead, quickly, quickly, please. We cry holy, holy, holy. Come to Yeshua, Shekinah is here. We cry holy, holy, holy. Come to Yeshua, Shekinah is here. We cry holy, holy, yeah. holy, holy. Come to Yeshua, Shekinah is here. We cry holy, 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 holy.
I'm moving forward strangely manifesting the glory of God defying all the laws of men defying the expectations of men rising by the spirit rising by the anointing rising by the spirit don't be tired of praying something is happening to you something is happening to you prophesy over your finances prophesy over your health the word of the lord is upon you the word of the lord is upon you no devil can stand this impartation the word of the lord is upon you no cause no spell no divination no enchantment we are breaking out at last by the spirit of the living god the word of the Lord is upon you. Sent. Sent by his anointing. Keep praying. Don't be tired. You are doing something to your spirit man. The hand of God is upon you. Things are shifting in the spirit. Doors are opening. Ladders are being created. Preaching your expectation and your results. Outside pray. Those online. Use the oil you have upon your head. And that of your family members. And begin to pray in the spirit. Call for the things that be not. Don't doubt what you are doing. This is how it works. Don't doubt what you are doing. Don't let the devil plant unbelief and make you think you are wasting your time. No, you are not. The Lord will so surprise you. Something special, supernatural about your name, Jesus. Something happens when I met. Jesus, 
Something special or supernatural about your name, Jesus. Something happens when I mention your name. Hallelujah. I know that there are still, especially for those of us in the overflows, we are still making contact with the oil. Don't stop. Just continue what you are doing. But please listen to me. Please listen to me. Hallelujah. I want you to pick up any point of contact that you came with. There is a strong anointing that I sense upon me now. any point of contact your document certificate whatever it is job sack letter court case letter whatever it is he said be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be made known let your request i want to pray for you listen let me tell you this i have learned by the spirit if you don't have any point of contact you can use your hand your hand is the symbol of your work your hand is the symbol of your productivity i have learned that everything on earth can hear it just depends on who is speaking are we together god has not called you i know for many of us this thing looks like is some form of for many of us this looks like it is some form of nonsense others will watch and laugh and you there at your house or wherever it is you are connecting with us from around the world it's not too late if there is nothing write your challenge and lift it before god and say lord this thing is not giving me joy your certificate whatever it is there's more oil here if there's anyone in need of it please make sure you participate all the overflows i want to pray i want you to believe if you have never believed a man of god in your life please just believe this once the bible says believe in the lord your god so shall he be established he said believe in his prophets this thing you see is not a vocation it's not something a man chose for himself i want to pray for you from the depth of my spirit i want to put an anointing upon those items i don't care what it is some of you are lifting your jam sleep for your jam tomorrow some of you are lifting your certificate you've been a graduate for 10 years 20 years no job some no promotion some is a threat letter by anything a court or whatever it is i want to pray for you I just need you to believe to agree with me some of you is your business ideas some is your crashing business some whatever it is now in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God the one who gave this anointing I decree I speak over every document and every point of contact represented in the name of jesus i command speed upon that document in the name of jesus christ for every document lifted that is a threat a challenge to a family to an individual to your reputation in the name of jesus I veto that situation now. I veto that situation now. Every document lifted that is a certificate or a means that can be exchanged for value and the devil has grounded your certificate. You are all graduates in your family but there's nothing to show for 
from tonight Zekos kata matatos kata pakataria kata in the name of Jesus I give that certificate a voice in the realm of the spirit I give it a voice in the realm of the spirit I command it to bring jobs to you I command it to bring opportunities to you in the name of Jesus Christ for some of you that which you are lifting is a photo of your loved ones representing the chaos in your family in the name of Jesus may the lifter of men in a strange way lift every one of you out of any predicament out of every predicament for some of you what you are lifting is a medical report it's a threat letter from hell that you have cancer that you have HIV that you are barren your tubes are blocked that you are important as a man in the name of Jesus I change that medical report now I change that medical report now there are some of you what you are lifting is your project not just your school project job project whatever project that your lifting is dependent upon in the name of Jesus I command all those who will supervise you to favor you there are some of you what you are lifting is your house rent what you are lifting is a building project that is not completed and there is no hope of raising money anywhere I decree and declare by the finger of God I call forth helpers to your life now I call forth helpers to your life now for some of you what you are lifting is your marriage certificate that your marriage is at the verge of tearing into pieces because of what the devil wants to do in the name of Jesus I mend that home right now I mend that home right now for some of you what you are lifting is a missing organ in your body they say you don't have this you don't have that this is absent in your body whatever should be in your body and is not in the name of Jesus I call for a replacement now for some of you what you are lifting is your ATM card your checkbook or your phone as a sign in the name of Jesus I declare the kind of alerts that will begin to come in the name of the Lord God of heaven let it surprise you let it surprise you let it surprise you I pray for every ministry represented here whatever has created an embargo that you will not rise beyond certain levels that souls will not be saved through your ministry that lives will not be changed in the name of Jesus I release an anointing upon you now I release an anointing upon you now go and do exploits in the name of Jesus anyone in business here I prophesy to you I don't care what your business has looked like between now and the next two months may your business flourish in a way that will surprise you I say it again between now 60 days from today in the name of Jesus enter a strange dimension of results hallelujah I'm praying for people here who are trusting God to give them properties if you have the faith for this prayer watch my God surprise you I decree and declare that between now and half of the year you may not even have up to 1,000 naira in your account now but in the name of Jesus I put properties in your hands I put properties in your hands 
let them mock you and see what God can do I put properties in your hands I pray for every student here if there is any result that is not your own that you are carrying something you know I don't care whether it's a mistake that was made in 100 level and now you are even spilling over help them please help them in the name of Jesus by the ministry of angels I command a strange change of results a strange change of results a change of results a change of results hear me i want to pray for those who are not doing well you have done your best it's as if there is an embargo on your mind you are not lazy you study you enter the exam hall and everything evaporates when you fail you now remember take note something will happen to you now i decree and declare let an anointing right now i'm feeling it on my own head a strange anointing receive a grace for supernatural intelligence everywhere main auditorium overflow one two three i empower your mind ten times better ten times better i pray for our dear ones i hear there's jam from tomorrow am i right from tomorrow till when from today or oh, the road jam today let's agree I'm sure you know what God does with jam in this ministry. I know you have read, but you need a prophetic backing. Let's make this thing work once and for all. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. In a way you have never seen, may the Holy Ghost hold your hand and produce a wonder from your jam. May the Holy Ghost hold your hand and produce a wonder from your jam. I'm praying for you any mortal man on earth who beat his chest and say over his dead body for you and your family to rise I stand here and I answer his prayer anyone who said over his dead body for you to marry over his dead body for you to rise may that prayer be answered now may that prayer be answered now every devil every wizard every necromancer that manipulates the elements of life and declare that they will victimize you i command the earth to open and swallow them listen just follow me a few minutes and we're done if there is any of you that your name has been taken to any shrine i don't care where and all kinds of incantations some of us come from very wicked families in the name of Jesus not only will your name come out of there both the herbalist and the sender may the earth open and swallow them both the herbalist and the sender may the earth open and swallow them both the herbalist and the sender may the earth open and swallow them both the herbalist and the sender may the earth open and swallow them i know you don't like what i'm saying don't mind me just let me finish praying i say again that every territory whether a village whether a town where there are controlling powers sitting on the destinies of men that you do your best but you never move forward i command a sword of vengeance tonight i command a sword of vengeance tonight hmm. 
whoever has ignored you and trivialized the hand of God upon your life in the name that is above all names let there be a strange unction on you tonight an unction that will force everyone to record with the hand of God upon your life in the name of Jesus Christ let me pray for every marriage and every home represented here listen this is a ministry where marriages don't break and won't break I believe in family I believe in honor one of the things the devil is doing is walking at tearing a nice man and his wonderful wife they get married and the devil just gets up and comes to rubbish their lives I'm prophesying right now in the name that is above all names every family in koinonia here that is shaking the devil in between that is shaking the foundation of that family i curse them right now in jesus name hallelujah if there is anyone called barren you are connected to this vision and the devil wants to disgrace you by making sure you continue remaining without a child not tomorrow tonight your baby begins to manifest in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ let me pray for influence we're rounding up i believe in influence don't reject it don't fight it don't join people in a false sense of spirituality to cheat you. Influence is one of the ways the kingdom advances. I decree and declare, wherever you find your place, I command you to rise above your equals. Rise above your contemporaries. As a lecturer, rise above your equals. As a banker, rise above your equals. As a student, rise above your equals. They will seek counsel from you. They will look for the word of the Lord from your mouth. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let me pray for our finances. Thou hast caused men to ride over our heads. We walk through fire and through water. But thou broughtest us into a wealthy place. Listen. Listen. We are not naive about what value there are astute business people in this ministry there are multi-millionaire business people in this ministry we are not in ignorance as to the fact that you can bless people and they can see what you have done people bless me every day because they perceive that i've been a blessing to them but there is the finger of god where for no known reason if if i've been nice to you you can say ah apostle you changed my life take time naira there is a reason why you bless what you see that i didn't sell anything to you i just took out time to change your life and you blessed me if you employ me and i work for you i gave my time and my value so in return you give me a salary is that true but when the finger of god comes please hear me there will be no reason no reason except for the fact that jacob i love esau i hated you can be sitting down and god will raise somebody to rise up listen not only bless you once but say i want to make this an addiction a habit to bless you are you hearing what i'm saying yes you have seen the money that came through your skill congratulations where is the one that came through the finger of God? You should be able to look at your finances and know that this 10 naira came because I got a good job. Thank God for that. This one came because I blessed a life. I paid a graduate a student's school fees. Now he's working and he has come back to say thank you. This one came because I have a child. The child has become responsible and he has come back to say, Mama, na go day. But show me the one that came from the finger of God. That you know this one lord i can't explain how this one came i don't even know the name of the sender i just saw one name or two names the finger of god 
you see the problem we're rounding up with the body of christ we fight what we don't understand and what we understand we trivialize it why is god doing this thing it's not just because we are money mongers and everybody is talking money no god is doing this thing as an act of his sovereignty to aid your reaching your goals fast so you can have time for him are we together now you can see that cgc is doing a lot of work by the way um, I, I didn't even plan with them every single one should be part of this project cgc you can see this 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 is a ministry that has been such a blessing to us and honestly i didn't even plan this with any of them i've not even seen the pastor as i just said this now everybody should be a part of this i know what the ministry koinonia will do i know what as a person i would do i'm encouraging you you can see our daddy prof or maybe the protocol people after the service and you can discuss with them how do i get my seat ten thousand twenty thousand hundred thousand a million whatever amount and say look i want my seed to be here by the grace of god they are not looking for money to do this god has been faithful and they have been you can see the items that there is just i'm sure because of this program they decided to suspend what they are doing i'm just using an opportunity to tell you whoever you are make sure that you find a way of participating in this but let me tell you this there is the finger of god and i want to pray this because some of our families nobody even went to school so there is no issue of saying lord give them a job you see mama of 70 years which financial intelligence are you going to tell her that our rewards in life all that thing you are talking she's just looking at you what are you saying my son i am dying here a landlord a young boy of 25 wants to disgrace a woman of 70 years by nine o'clock tomorrow mama get out of my house and she says please help me that one you don't need a financial seminar you need the finger of god this is where most of our families are lift your hands let me pray for you i have seen this in my life the finger of god was designed to take away shame and reproach from your life the finger of god was designed to come through for you quarter to shame i prophesy to you in the name of the lord jesus christ beginning from this night and all through this weekend by men you do not know and by those you already know even if they have helped you before i command strange wealth by the finger of god i command strange wealth by the finger of god i prophesy to you right now listen i want you to believe me in the name of jesus a stranger you do not know you don't even know how he got your account number i compel them by the spirit to bless you in the name of Jesus Christ are we together the Bible says that God has blessed us already with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ It's already done that means the the reality that these things have been established in the realm of the spirit should give us confidence that for as long as we partner with God inevitably it must find expression in the physical realm this I believe build the ministry from the realm of the spirit and watch what happens in the physical realm build the business from the realm of the spirit and watch what happens in the physical realm build the children from the realm of the spirit the dedication i did for our little one here that's what they did for many people they dedicated them to idols and immediately the next week they went to america and never came to nigeria again yet their lives continue to parallel somebody in the village although they're in america why because there was an authorization that the realm of the spirit will should feel free to continue to create scenarios that draw people back we are thriving and excelling because what you see is only a reflection it has been finished already the miracle service has been finished already in the realm of the spirit the rejoicing version of you is already a reality in the realm of the spirit are you seeing that now and that's why for as long as your heart is open and your faith can connect inevitably you will see the hand of god he said who has believed our report to him that man the arm of the lord has been made manifest why do we call for these kinds of services they are not just moments to while away time 
there are several people outside everywhere thousands of people all around this ground and many more connecting around the world god is not stupid to gather a people some of you left this journey from maybe outside of this nation within this nation traveling risking your life to come and sit down would god be joking with you to bring you here Abba. i believe in jesus i believe in his power i believe that god can turn things around listen to me please i want to shake off unbelief from you i believe that god in a moment in a twinkling of an eye that a whole family can come and just sit in and say lord can you turn our lives ha! do you know as a man of god i've been around this thing for a while and maybe a little while and i'm telling you myself even as a man who god has helped sometimes i am in awe and shock at the way god moves that someone can just come and sit in the presence of god my brothers and sisters and the anointing of the holy spirit comes like a drug and that's it you step up and doors open just like that it's like a dream everything you are looking for is also looking for you please hear me believe what i tell you everything you are looking for is looking for you if it has not gotten to you something stopped it i desired once and again to come to you but satan hindered us everything you are looking for is looking for you the breakthrough the lifting the anointing the new levels the increase the expansion it is god's will his testament already tells us there's no need going to pray and say is it god's will no the will of god is revealed through his word i wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health even as thy soul prospereth and then scripture says let god be true and that every man a liar if you believe this about God, then you will also know that the Bible says, while we look not at the things that are seen, but the things that are unseen. Why? Because the things that are seen are temporal. What does temporal mean? Subject to change, fading. But the things that are unseen are eternal. That means everything that does not represent the counsel of God can change can change it's a miracle that my life of lack can change are we together now my life of living from drug to drug from death sentence to death sentence can change so the question tonight is not can god do it no 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 the ministry of jesus captured all of this he preached he taught he healed the sick listen carefully he casted out devils he made for the provisions of people that there be supplies so i know god is able to do it please don't come sitting here tonight wondering i've gone to many churches you may say i've been prayed for by several people apostle you don't know the amount of vigils let me tell you something and i submit to you respectfully every challenge is at the mercy of the grace that confronts it listen very carefully don't generalize troubles every challenge is at the mercy of the grace that confronts it the anointing is like money if you have one thousand you have money but that money can only buy to the limit of one thousand and if what you need to buy is ten thousand you are in trouble you will need to add nine of what you already have in addition to what you have to make that a possibility So then death walks in us, that life will walk in you. My assignment is to continue to grow in the anointing and to continue to grow in the revelation of the truth. Why? Because it is in that growth that more people's testimony is resident. That means 
the testimony that the level of grace I occupied three, four, five years could not produce. If it cannot produce that result till now, then I'm not growing. The problem is never with those who are having the challenge. You see, I continue to say this. The problem is not with members. It's not with the sick people. No, the problem is the limitation of the grace that is upon the person who is dispensing the word. It is true. Why do you call one doctor consultant and then you call another um, a resident doctor? What is the difference? They are all doctors. Is that true? Are they all doctors? I believe in the power of God. I truly believe in miracles. I believe in miracles. Number one, because the Bible allows it. Number two, because this is how men know that Jesus is Lord. Listen to me. The demonstration of the power of God in miracles, signs, and wonders. No matter who argues around it, is the authorized signature. Sign El Shaddai. This is how he works. When he moves upon the lives of people, he leaves his signature there. Where the carcasses are, they say, that's where the eagles will gather. Please let me encourage you, if you are a man of God here and you are here in this meeting, please desire more than receiving a miracle, desire a solid impartation of a real grace that is provable, 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 provable. No amount of poster would do the work of a real miracle. No amount of handbill, now I'm not being sarcastic, will do the work of a real miracle. A transformed life is a real miracle. A healed body is a real miracle. Hallelujah. We have come here tonight to celebrate the hand of God resting upon people resting upon families some of you are here for the first time because through the messages and through testimonies you have heard that this is what god is doing now you are seated like somebody who is ready to watch a movie and you are wondering okay is my case too big will god be able to visit me ah. you know reminds me of how patients talk to doctors they believe that the doctor has never seen their problem. Say, doctor, you don't know the pain, eh? When I'm telling the doctor, I already know the situation. Don't just be patient. Say, don't allow me. Let, me. let me explain to you. Let me even try to turn and he's looking. And the man says, I was in medicine before you were born. I've met this kind of thing before. I know the solution. And sometimes the solution is funny. He can just give him a prescription. And he said, that's all. I thought I would be on admission. I said, no, no, it doesn't call for that kind of emergency. Just because you are threatened by the situation does not mean the situation is a threat. No. no. Apostle, you don't know the kind of financial trouble that is on my head that brought me here. No. It's a threat to you, but it's not a threat. Find a way of believing what I'm saying. Because it is true. The sun of righteousness is here with healing in his wings yeah. the son of righteousness is here with lifting in his wings yeah. the son of Righteousness is here with speed in his wings for someone's destiny. The sun of righteousness is here with fire in his wings. The sun of righteousness is here. With healing in his wings. Listen. When the Lord called me, I told him something. I said, Lord, I know how unfair it is to gather a people and not have the power 
to allow your might to be revealed in them. You know, most times there are people who just act as if once the people hear the revelation of the word is all right. Uh, if they are not changed, that's okay. No. I believe in miracles. I believe in the word becoming flesh. God reaching down to people. I believe in situations changing with proofs. Proofs. Your account. Proof. Your destiny. Proof. Everything with proof. And we will continue to thrive and push through and see to it that by the grace of God Almighty that we grow to realms in the spirit where every challenge that comes is within the jurisdiction of the grace provided to provide answers. That's what God does. You come and sit down in this atmosphere, ladies and gentlemen, and you are wondering, can God step into my situation? I love Jesus with all my heart. I have read the scripture. I have seen what God can do. Can God give me a job? Can God open a door? Can God put this anointing upon my life? Can God lift the death sentence over my life? Can God bring to end this age-long captivity that has tied the family? The answer is yes. Let me repeat the answer is yes god is able before god gathers a people like this he will check first whether he has the power to do it it is based on that conclusion that he gathers a people he will call a solemn assembly and say come and experience god hallelujah praise the lord so tonight i like your faith to be fired up don't don't allow the devil to reduce you to the realm of the flesh where you are wondering how can god make a way in the wilderness there are many ways god can deliver you from the wilderness he can leave the wilderness there and carry you that's method one number two he can scatter every rock in the wilderness and make a road out of it three he can leave you there and carry the wilderness it doesn't matter how he does it the most important thing is you are separated from it look at the size of your challenge the heaven is his throne and the earth is his footstool footstool hallelujah it is footstool please help those here the power of god i just saw light just flashing here two people just here the power of god is touching them the lord straight up is visiting them and for one i'm seeing god remove something that looks like a growth around the stomach i command that growth to go now in the name of jesus there are two of them there's two i saw two lights so just this way and it's the ministry of the spirit you see two lights there is there is one something is coming out of the stomach is what i'm seeing um, I don't know what it is looking like, but it's looking like a thread just coming out of the stomach. Lord, we believe in you. Lord, we believe in you. There is a man of God here. The power of God is coming on him. You are in ministry. You are a man of God. I just saw it by the Spirit. Let me tell you why these things happen. Look up, please. Let me teach you something. Don't worry about the time. I just want to show you something in two minutes. I just fell to digress. You see, all you see is not all there is. When God calls a man, there is not only an anointing, there is an office and there is a throne that defends what he represents. There are certain operations of the spirit that are not only products of the anointing. No. There are certain operations that are legislations. It is not the anointing that makes it happen. There is an office in the realm of the spirit recognized, accredited by God, allocated for that grace and that office. Please listen. Understand what I am teaching you so that when words come like this i'm not trying to transfer the anointing to the person to make it happen no 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 there are times that that happens 
try to understand what I'm teaching you. There are things that are, they are governmental legislations. You see, let me tell you, there is growth in the spirit. And people can grow to realms where certain privileges are given to them. What was the privilege of the man with the parable of the five, two, and one talent? He said, I set thee over kingdoms. What kingdoms? That was the reward he got. A ranking in the spirit. That means I extend your dominion. That these other kingdoms, they also come under the influence of your speaking. That means you can declare things. When I started out in ministry, I would not minister that way. Because it was not by this, this grace for legislature it was just about the anointing being properly channeled but now that's not just the issue now no at that level you will not be able to minister to a crowd like this you see that so when i declare and i speak sometimes it is not just an anointed man speaking. No, there are speakings that come from the anointing. But there are speakings that come by reason of the office that speaks. The centurion said, I am a man under authority. Authority. There is a government. There, I am a captain. I have an allocation in the army. There are people who must hear me because I am under that grace. That means... There are things that can be called. Listen. If I am walking, if I am walking in a restaurant and I am the manager in that restaurant, now, whether I can cook or not, I am the manager. Do you understand what I'm saying? And that means there are certain privileges that can happen. Is that true? It is within my power to tell you, come and sit down in that restaurant. Please serve him. You see that i cannot cook physically but i occupy a position that has a cook under me i can make his grace work for you this is what i'm saying i'm not the one who prepared the food but there is somebody who can cook but both the cook and all of this is within the restaurant was given to my care let me tell you what this means Please listen. And, and I'm careful to say this because many young people, once they get these kinds of things, they usually will not understand what the man of God is saying. And they will go online and start writing things that are er erroneous. Let me tell you this. There is an office you can occupy that the grace must not be on you to reach people. That means if Pastor Femi has a grace for prayer and you need it, I can grow to a point in the spirit whereby the power of submission, I, me, a man, I can take the grace on him for prayer because it is needed and it is part of the apostolic duty to see that this guy's prayer life is on. I can partner with the Holy Spirit and take the grace for prayer that is on him. I may not have it as a person, but because he needs that grace, God can use me to take that grace and place it on someone. It's true. We remain humble before God and we thank him for the things that he continues to provide. But let me tell you, my brothers and my sisters, men are not just men. This is a revelation that is very, is very difficult to understand, but it's powerful when understood. So when God gathers us like this, God will not bring you to a place that cannot bless you. No, God does not work like that. He will first check your problem before directing you. So if he allowed you to come, it is because he has checked. It's like a checklist. And he said, no, no, no. The grace for your problem is here. Go, you can go. The same way you apply for admission, you first check whether the course you want, do they offer it? Just because they don't offer your course does not mean they are not a university. There are times that only one university is offering a particular course and you will travel and go down there. 
Why? Because you want to access it. This is how these things are spiritually too sometimes. Doesn't mean that we're the only ones doing what we're doing. That would be pride and that would be untrue. But let me tell you something. That as God continues to engrace us, then he provides a platform and an opportunity for the anointing to step. I know that not many of us are sick, crippled and all of that. So it's difficult because you may not see visible signs immediately. But the anointing comes on you and then you can go. As you go, you, you know what is on you by what starts to change. So you're a man of God. You go back. Ah, I came to Zaria. It was a powerful meeting. And then God leads you to certain people. And for the first time, you are surprised. You are talking to the person. And you are hearing names that you don't know. You are saying, okay, I used to just think these things are intuition. So the speakings of God can be this clear. I can know it this much. Tonight is not only a night of deliverance. Tonight is not only a night of healing. Tonight is not only a night to calm storms. Tonight is a night of receiving. I really believe that. Impartations to receive. To receive. You have to add to the grace that is upon your life already. Grace and peace be multiplied. If you stay where you are, you will not grow in results. Grace and peace be multiplied. You are a prayer warrior, you are, the, you are a leader in a group, you remain at that level, everybody will go and leave you there. And they will not listen to you again. That's the truth because they have exhausted the level of grace. It's not that they don't want to love you. You have to grow. So take away your mind from anything that can distract and focus on God. Place something upon my life. Lord, you have come, put something upon my life. Put something upon my destiny. And if you came here as a family, put something, oh God, upon our family. Son of righteousness is he with fire in his eyes. The son of righteousness is he with healing in his wings. Hallelujah. Who is Deborah? Overflow one. Just we're going to be very fast tonight. Deborah. Someone in overflow one. Deborah. We're going to pray. Deborah. She's at the back. You are wearing something on your head. You are tying something on your head. Outside. Overflow one. Son of righteousness is here healing in his wings son of righteousness is here I'm going to pray but the person I'm seeing is wearing traditionals it's like it has a little of maroon touch on it. Traditionals. This is what I'm seeing. I will pray for you. The son of righteousness is here. When you find such, if there's, if there's nobody like that, no problem. My dear, where are you coming from? Zaria. I want to pray for you. Look at me. Your life will so change this night. It will surprise you. There is a God in heaven. I'm seeing you crying. And the Lord is wiping your tears completely. Just by his spirit. He's wiping. Where are you from? The mic is not working. Find out why. Please. Can I pray for you? Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. I release you, my dear. Deborah is your name. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. I release you from captivity. I set you free by the Spirit of the living God. I'm seeing something that has tied you huh? from head to toe. But the Lord is saying to release you. And I declare to you by the Spirit of the living God that God now is releasing you completely by the Spirit of the living God. Releasing you right now. My dear... 
Where are you coming from? Outside? Your name is Deborah. Can I pray for you? In the name of Jesus. Who is that? Her name is Deborah. Where was she? Outside? What's wrong with her? Huh? Why? How long, madam? Madam, you feel pain in your back? Yes, sir. Severe pain? Yes, sir. Where? Here, like this. From my back. We're going to pray for the sick. Huh? So when we pray for the sick, you will come out and I'll pray for you. Okay? You came with her? You are her daughter? Who are you? Just a friend that came. You're a nice lady. Come. What, do you, what are you trusting God for? Huh? A life partner. I love you. You are a very honest and sincere lady. And I'm going to pray for you. Huh? Hold my hands. Father, honor your word in the name of Jesus Christ. Give this lady a very godly man by the spirit of the living God. Find somewhere for her. Let her sit down. We are going to pray. I want to pray. We are going to do a very quick walk tonight. The power of God is coming on someone around the worship team here. I just saw just like light. I don't know who that person is, but I just saw light around the worship team. We are going to pray. Please lift your voice in one minute and cry, Lord, visit me. Please pray quickly. Lift your voice and pray. Make sure you pray. Something must come upon your life tonight. coming from come this lady you yes where are you coming from you are schooling here from where your state you are from Kaduna state where are your loved ones tell them the month of November is a month of breakthrough for your family huh? that's what God is telling me to tell you November is a very strange month of breakthrough. Huh? Your dad. That's what I'm saying. Something would have happened to someone this November, but the Lord is saying November is a month of breakthrough for your family. In the name of Jesus, I declare and I prophesy to you, let it come to an end now. The spirit that kills people by November it comes to an end now I command by the spirit of the living God the Bible says now the Lord is that spirit it says and where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty there is liberty there is liberty there is liberty let it end let it be over right now let it be over right now Father, I pray tonight in the name that is above all names that your mighty power in the name of Jesus the Son of the living God that it be made manifest across this place let yokes be lifted let burdens be lifted let all kinds of yokes be broken in the mighty name of Jesus now listen please I want to pray for you please pay attention focus on Jesus it is not just a call to have people fall under the anointing. No. I want to pray and minister the power of God. That if there is anything at all 
within this circumference that is not of the Christ that as we pray the power of God comes upon you please we'll have would we'll make it very fast and the ushers will bring them out we are going to shout that name that is above all names it's not a ritual wherefore God had so highly exalted him and given him a name father in the name of Jesus I pray that you will honor your word and honor your name at the count of three together as a family of faith we are going to shout that name already I'm telling you I see fire just like rain but it's the rain of fire coming on people to end all kinds of oppressions at the count of three one two three shout Jesus that every power that is not of God go now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in the name that is above all names I decree and declare the forces of ancestry yokes of darkness please bring them out quickly 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 we are praying again hear me the bible says even the lawful captives shall be delivered you are going to shout that name again not just for yourself not just for your family that everything that is not by the christ he must give way right now i speak to principalities and powers and thrones and dominions and every name that is named are you ready to shout now at the count of three one two three shout jesus release them now release them now 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 release their destinies by the blood release them now the bible says even the captives of the mighty shall be delivered hallelujah was he praying you're going to shout two more times this is the second to the last time the Lord wants to end patterns something that happened to someone your mother is now happening to you your mother was raped you are now being raped your father failed you now failed in the name of Jesus I declare now this one I see fire coming on several people inside and outside Lord I pray anyone here who is a victim of patterns strengthened by spirit at this shout oh God let there be deliverance one two three shout Jesus be free now be free now repeatable patterns that tie people down outside inside be free now everyone who is under the influence of any strange spirit whether here or any of the overflows I declare to those spirits the Bible says now the Lord is that spirit and that where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty I speak by the anointing in the name of Jesus that these spirits let them go and release the families all those in front here at the count of three release them release their families one two three go now go 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 the woman holding photo there's a woman here holding a picture there's a woman holding a picture. Come, madam. 
Let every other name fade away. Come, mother. Let every other name fade away. Till there's only you. Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. Madam, where are you coming from, ma? From Port Harcourt. I want to pray for you. I'm seeing a stronghold of witchcraft across your family. But the Lord is saying, these are your children. Where are they? Your children. I'm seeing two of your children in the U.S. Is the mic working? It's not working. Is it working? Please help us. Let there be someone who is... Huh? I'm seeing two of your children in U.S. How many of them are in U.S.? Okay, three of them in U.S. Who is in U.K.? Where is the one in U.K.? There's one in U.K. Listen to me, madam. God is going to come upon your family and bring rest roundabout. Rest roundabout. In the name of Jesus, madam, I lay my hands on you and upon this request. Turn every captivity, my God. To become like the streams of Negev, the Negev. Be free now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Over now. The power of God will touch them in the US. In the UK. I bring liberty to this family right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Um, my friend, this man. Please just clear the way for me. The man with gray hair just near this one. Come, sir. Let every other name fade away. Where are you coming from, sir? Niger State. From Niger State. Are you a man of God? What do you do? I'm a pastor. You are a pastor. Where? I have a ministry. Point of joy ministry. You have a ministry. I have to pray for you. I'm seeing a serious embargo first on your life and then on your ministry. I don't know you, sir. I've not seen anything around you. But I want to pray because I'm seeing, number one, God is taking away this embargo upon your life. But number two, I'm seeing that God is granting you the spirit of revelation. Amen. The revelatory grace. Amen. Revelatory dimension of the anointing. Amen. And then I'm also seeing God raising financial support. Help us. Amen. Very strong pillars for you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Can I pray for you, sir? Is it all right if right, I pray for you? Right. I hope you're not embarrassed that I pray for you. I hope you're not embarrassed that I pray for you. No, no, no. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for this servant of God. Sir, in the name that is above all names, I speak to you because you believe. Amen. May the Lord shift you to a new dimension of ministry. Amen. Let the grace for revelation rest mighty upon you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I declare to you, God will raise strange financial helpers Amen. to attend to your needs. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Amen. Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Who is, I'm hearing. Who is Ezekiel? Ezekiel. We have to hurry up, but I'm hearing a name Ezekiel. Of course, I can imagine that there will be so many people with that name. But we have to hurry up because I want to pray. Ezekiel. I'm hearing a name, Ezekiel. And the Lord wants to minister to that person now, please. Every foul spirit. There is a family here. You are from Zonkua. Zonkua should be Southern Kaduna. Is that? Zonkua. Where are you? Please verify. Let's, let's make sure that. You are a family. It's not just one person. I'm not just saying one person who came. 
there are many people who came who are from Zonkwa were in Kaduna State. I'm saying a family. This is what God is revealing to me. Let me pray for you. You came out for Ezekiel. I want to pray for you. What do you do, my friend? You are, you are brothers? Ezekiel, I will pray for you. I, of course, I will pray generally, but it, it may not necessarily be for everybody. My friend, let me pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, please, hold on. I hope, I hope, there's, there's why they are coming out. Why, why are all of you out for Ezekiel's? Okay, I'll pray for you. The Lord is asking me to do something except that the Lord said so. I wouldn't have done it. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm seeing at least eleven people when I pray for them. Please don't be embarrassed. The addiction of smoking um, either drugs or this um, uh, all these things that they smoke there I'm seeing at least 11 people and the Lord is saying he wants to deliver them now now in this place I'm going to pray for these gentlemen but I'm going to ask those people listen there's nothing to be embarrassed about I, like I said I would not call you to embarrass you but God is showing me both men and women not only women addicted to smoking this codeine or, or cocaine or whatever it is drugs the lord wants me to pray for those people so i'll immediately i pray for this i will call you please leave your friend leave whatever you are doing and you'll come and stand and i'll pray for you my friend let me pray for you in the name of jesus i declare that god is lifting you in the name of jesus christ god is lifting you by the power of the holy spirit and that everything that does not represent the counsel of God, let it live your life right now. And for all of you who stood in for the name Ezekiel, I pray for you. My friend, look at me. God is visiting your family, eh? You. is visiting your family in a very strange way. This, it will not reach wicked next week before you start getting testimonies. This thing I'm telling you is less than one week. Write it down. I speak to you by the Spirit of God. May the Lord honor this word. And for all of you who are standing in for Ezekiel in the name of Jesus, everything around your life that is not the planting of the Lord be delivered right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Was was well from Zonkwa, sir? Are you a family? Yes, God, it's our family. This is our father, but he cannot speak English. No problem. He's welcome. Please come. Let him come. No, don't, don't let the children who cry. Their ch Is it the same family? Yes. Uh, don't worry, I'll pray for you. And this one's too? And your children? Madam, what do you do, ma? I'm a nurse. You are a nurse. I will pray for you, oh, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, turn this woman's life around. Amen. And turn the life of her children around. Amen. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Um, who is, what, he speaks your language? You, okay, when I talk to you, don't worry, you don't have to give up. When I talk to you, you will, you will interpret to him. Eh? Tell him that I'm seeing something that looks like a shrine. And that this thing has been responsible for the retrogression of everybody within this family. That people rise in this family just when they should sit down. They either die or go down. graduate from school before he died that's what i'm saying yes. i'm seeing that this is yes. what happens yes. just when people should he settle down my brother, yes. Our first born, he graduated from school before he died is your father yes. is he your brother yes he's my brother okay oh please someone help us and attend to these children please these are your don't worry my dear there's no need to shout please tell him that there is a name that is above every other name And that I'm going to pray right now. And no matter how long it has stayed, this entire family must be set free. Can I pray? What do you do? This student. Where? Maybe. You love Jesus. I love Jesus. You are going to be an evangelist. Prophesy to 
him that he's going to be a man of God. I don't know yes. him. I don't know anything. I'm just, I'm just telling you that this man, I'm seeing by the spirit, this, this boy you are seeing is going to be a mighty man of God, an evangelist. Hold my hands. I release you into this grace. May this anointing take you to dimensions untold. In the name of Jesus Christ, fresh grace for prayer, fresh grace for the word. I shift you by the spirit into these dimensions. Now I pray for this family and every other family that has this kind of thing. That there are forces that sit on people's destinies. Just when people should sit down, they crash down. In the name that is above all names. I declare be free now. Be free now. Help this girl. Be free now. Every spirit. Look at the children. I cast this spirit now. Now. Out of this family. In the mighty name of Jesus. I release this family from the spirit of death and the influences of the grave. Be free in the name of Jesus Christ. And let me prophesy to any other family here that is under this kind of yoke. In the name of Jesus, come out of it now. Hallelujah. God bless you. Thank you so much, sir. God bless you. Please, they can go back to their seats. Now, I want to pray. Our time is gone. We must hurry up tonight. But the Lord is showing me people who want to be delivered from this addiction to drugs and smoking. Listen, no, everybody here is a product of God's mercy. There's no such thing as anybody. There are not many times I do this, but I have to obey what God is. Are you here for that case? Huh? Okay. May the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. So please, I'm going to give one minute. Whether you are in overflow 3, overflow 2B, 2C, 4, wherever, or in here, you know that some people are not bad. They are not bad people. They just need to be free. Please run and come and stand here right now. You are addicted to all of these drugs. Don't be looking at anybody to say, so this one is none of your business. Please celebrate everyone. It takes a lot of courage for them to come. Are you clapping for them? Everyone, please. There are still more people because I saw a number of people in my vision as God was speaking to me. You love the Lord, but this addiction. See, these addictions are spirits. It's not about somebody being good or bad. Look at them coming. It's not. Look, let me tell you the truth. Addiction is something that is, there is a spirit behind it. Please keep coming. Be bold and come and stand. God will set you free from it. Son of righteousness is he. With healing in his wings. Hey, hey, hey. The son Righteousness is he with healing in his wings. Please hurry up. I'm about to pray for them now. So if you belong to that category, if your friend is stopping you, leave that friend and come and stand. Nobody's condemning you. It's an addiction, it's a spirit. When you see the kinds of people coming, some of them are better than you in terms of character. It's a spirit. We have to deal with this thing because it's killing people everywhere. Some of you just have dreams and right from the realm of dreams, you cannot resist it again. I want to pray a serious prayer for you. Jesus is here. Some of you were doing well. You were excelling. Even in life academically. Until that spirit just came. And it just brought you down. I want to pray for you. Some of you were introduced to it by friends. Friends. They brought you together. Gave you those things. Look at people coming. Let's celebrate them. Young and old. This is not an issue for young people. Young and old. All together. 
God is setting people free. Listen, let me tell you sincerely, I love every one of you and I know that many people would not have one tenth the courage to come and stand. This is a family. Nobody dares condemn you. You are products of his grace. The Lord wants to set you free once and for all. Hallelujah. Now listen, let me tell you this. Remember the teaching that I gave you. I told you that every storm is calmed by rebuking the wind and rebuking the water. It is not what you hold and smoke or what you swallow that is the issue. There is a spirit. No amount of guidance and counseling will solve the problem. You will need to be delivered. And I want to pray for you. Praise the Lord. There are two things I want you to do for me. One, when I pray for you, you have a responsibility to let some of the association, because I know how addictive these associations are, tell them that Apostle Joshua Selman prayed for you and trust God for grace to leave them alone. Come to the house of God and make good friends. Are we together? You are not free when your association is not free. Because some of you, you probably have made attempts before, but you will go back and you will meet those people and they will laugh at you and say, forget about that nonsense. So you have to trust God for grace. But let me pray for you. Please lift your hand if you can. Some of you are here. Some of you are standing for your children. Some of you are standing for your loved ones. I know that not all of you are standing for yourself. Father, you gave this as a revelation. There are many people under the addiction of strange spirits. And Lord, I stand right now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. And I declare that in the frontier from my left to my right, let the angel of deliverance move right now across this place and cut the help them please my god and cut this change i'm praying for all of you in front now the legal basis upon which these spirits operate by the blood of the eternal covenant i break that legal hold now i break that legal hold now the spirit of addiction to drugs be free from it now be free from it now in the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, I pray for every one of you. Hear me. I'm saying it again. I don't care how it came into your life. It leaves you now and forever. It leaves you now and forever. Any association that the devil uses to keep you here. In the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Ghost. I set you free from them forever. I declare by the anointing of the Holy Spirit that you are free. Say after me, all of you in front. Say in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. I stand by the blood of Jesus. And I declare that from tonight and forever, I am free from any and all forms of addiction. I declare that from tonight addiction to drugs addiction to anything that is not of the Christ it leaves my life now and every spirit behind it I command you to let me go now I declare my liberty I declare that I am free in Jesus name let it be so for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. I'm speaking to you by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. No one condemns you. We stand as a family. We stand by you. And we agree as a family of faith. You are free from this nonsense this night. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please return back to your seat rejoicing. Let's celebrate them. Return back to your seat rejoicing. Let's celebrate them. Hallelujah. Now, don't be embarrassed. I'm going to pray from here. But I'm seeing a spirit on a lady. It is only married men that look for you. Shalis kabarutas kabariata. Only married men. 
a young gentle man who can settle down with you will never be interested in you but a man who is already married that's the one who will look for you in the name of jesus whether in this auditorium overflow one two three whoever is standing under the influence of that spirit i'm declaring right now by the anointing of the holy ghost be free now shout aloud amen be free now please help that girl be free now i'm still praying i'm, I'm still sensing this anointing is still is like he's moving and searching for people I say it again, that anointing, that grace, whatever it is, that makes only married men to look for you. In the name that is above all names, be free now. Be free now. The Lord is showing me a door in the spirit. And I'm seeing that door closed. Before we pray for the sick, the Lord is saying to open that door. I believe that there are many people, it represents the next level of several people's lives. I stand right now, my God, I'm seeing rain just coming on people. My God, the King of glory, I declare, everybody who is standing in front of a closed door, I speak to that door, be open now. Be open now. Bring this woman for me. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Who came with this madam? She came on her own. Because the kind of breakthrough I see God bringing for this woman will surprise you. Madam, I don't know you, but in a name that is above all names, you came with her? From where? Here. In the name of Jesus, madam, I don't know you, but I speak to you by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Every closed door before you I command that door to be open now in the name of Jesus. Be open in the name of Jesus Christ. Be open in the name of Jesus. As I pray for her, in the name of Jesus Christ, I command every spirit that is not of God to leave this lady. Look at her tearing her clothes. You see how these wicked spirits walk. Listen, let me tell you something. Deliverance look at me. Deliverance is not just the issue of shouting and demons rolling up, up and down. No. Now you can see this girl. Imagine that she's your fiance and your wedding is next week. You see what we are saying? I, I'm not saying she's a bad person. Please don't. Mm -mm. But you, the spirit will not shout when they are joining you. It's when you have gotten married, you see these wicked manifestations. Now the Lord is that spirit. And the spirit, where the spirit of the Lord is. Are you looking for a job? Who is looking for it? I'm seeing, hold on please. Listen, um, my sister, please shift for me. This fair lady. Where are you coming from? Kaduna? Yes, sir. Come and stand here. I'm seeing someone shaking your hands that you got a job. Are you looking for a job? Let us stand up. Are you looking for a job? Yes, sir. Hear the word of the Lord. I'm telling you, I'm seeing God giving you a job that will surprise you. There's, there's no need to cry. God is here to roll away reproach and to take away shame. I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus, according to this that the Lord has revealed, you will come and stand here and you will testify of your job. In the name of Jesus, let the power of God come upon you and set you free right now. Now, very quickly, we are going to do two things. Please, if how many of you have written your prayer request? If you have written your prayer request, please bring it out. If you have not written it, take time to write very quickly now. 
Um, what is, I'm hearing Baba Silas. What is Baba Silas? Baba Silas. I don't know if that is a name or that's a name of somebody's father. Baba Silas is what I'm hearing. If there is such a person, let me just talk to the person. Now, quickly, please submit your prayer requests. Um, there will be ushers, PR, help them, or whatever department. Huh? What? Give him the mic. What's your name? What's your name? Huh? Your brother is Silas. What I'm hearing is Baba Silas. I will pray for you. Why are they coming out, please? Huh? Your father is Silas. We'll pray for you. Let me just touch you and then you go back. Let it be over in Jesus' name. Whatever it is you are standing in for, let it be over in Jesus' name. Forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. By the anointing of the Holy Spirit, over forever. In the name of Jesus Whatever the challenge is, over forever, in the name of Jesus Christ. I set you free from sickness. They will not say you have fibroid. I curse that devil, that lady you are carrying. I rebuke that spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ. All right, please, all those, listen, please. We are going to pray for the sick now. Um, there are so many people tonight, and we have to be fast. Our time is gone. But let me say this, whether you are in overflow one or two or three, if you are coming here particularly trusting God for fruit of the womb, whatever overflow, no matter how far, I want you to come into this main auditorium because I will pray for you. Um, alongside them, all those who are trusting God for healing, please come and stand now. Overflow one, please move to your projector stand. Um, protocol will have to help me. How many overflows do we have tonight? There are so many. Thank you for your patience. Please rise up on your feet. Stretch your hands to this place. Cry from the depth of your heart. You don't have to kneel. Please stand. Cry from the depth of your heart. Father, this Egyptian that I see today, I see them no more forever. Is someone stretching your hands? Pray, pray. Don't look around. Pray. Unto you that answers prayer shall all flesh come. In the name of Jesus, turn situations around. In the name of Jesus, wipe tears. In the name of Jesus, let impossible situations turn around. Shiparutas kabarada gadesh. Declare it. Those online follow us as we pray. We prophesy upon these requests. We pray over your request in the name that is above all names. The God of miracles. We cry, Abba Father, hallowed be your name, hallowed be your name, hallowed be your name. We cry, Abba Father, we cry, Abba Father, hallowed be your name, hallowed be your name. of the miracle service is a very powerful part. People have recorded unspeakable testimonies, turnarounds by the hand of God. Father, I bow my knees in the name of Jesus by the privilege of the grace that you have supplied. I bring before you, O oh God, the pain, the tears, the requests of your people. They have brought this as a token of their faith, as proof.
that they believe you. Lord, you do these things because you love us, but you also do it to honor our faith. Therefore, Lord, I stand in agreement with the Spirit and I declare that every situation represented here turns into a testimony now. Every situation represented here by the God of heaven turns into a testimony now. Whoever must lose sleep for this prayer to be answered, we declare it so. Whoever must hear instructions from God for this request to be answered, we declare it so. Whoever must be lifted for this prayer to be answered, we declare it so. Whoever must go down for this prayer to be answered, we declare it so. Father, I cry in your name. Let this not just be a ceremony tonight. Your people have waited. Your people have prayed. Honor the faith of everyone here with strange results in the name of Jesus. There are situations here that need creation. It does not yet exist in the earth realm. We call it from the realm of the spirit to appear in the physical realm. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, there are situations here that only you can solve. Some of them are death sentences. Some of them are issues that relate to life and destiny. We cry to you, O God of heaven, arise tonight and do strange miracles. That by this time, next miracle service, some people will only write to intercede for others. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please keep standing, everybody. Keep standing. I want to pray for you now. Thank you for your patience, but I want to speak over your life and I want you to believe every word. Blessed is she that believes, for unto her there shall be a performance. I prophesy to you, number one, doors be open now. Doors be open now. Gates be open now. Gates be open now. Everyone here in ministry, I stretch my hands towards you. The fire, the grace, Shalakatoskia. The unction for a new level. The operation of the gifts of the spirit. The operation of revelatory dimensions. Step into it now in the name of Jesus. Step into it now in the name of Jesus. Let me pray over your finances. This is a year of extraordinary fruitfulness. I stand by the God of heaven and I declare by the power of prophecy supernatural supplies for you. Supernatural supplies by the wisdom of God. Every pit you have found yourself in, in the name of Jesus, come out of that pit now. Come out of that pit now. Come out of that pit now. I pray for every family here that has not yet seen the goodness of God in experience this year. I speak to you by the power that raised Christ from the dead. You will return here with strange testimonies. Everything that is yours but is not yet in your hands. I stand by the God of heaven and by prophecy Wherever it is, I command you to locate your hand and your destiny. I command you to locate your hand and your destiny. I pray for those trusting God for jobs. 
father you are the one who gives jobs i declare that between now and the next one month oh god of heaven let us have strange testimonies of miracle jobs strange testimonies of miracle jobs i'm praying for everybody but this prayer particularly is for the men the grace that establishes a man that can grant you stability whether financially structurally may that grace please believe it may that grace land on your life now structural establishment in the name of jesus christ every dying business in the mighty name of jesus hear the word of the lord i speak by the spirit let it jack back to life now i pray for your prayer life the fire you have not seen from january even up until september the grace to fast the grace to travel wherever you are let it rest upon your life now I pray for you access to the mysteries of the kingdom the grace that can open a man's eyes to scripture that you will see it may that grace rest upon you now every opportunity that once came to you but was not well utilized and has left you in the name of Jesus and by the mercy of God I stand tonight and I call for a repeat of it. A repeat of that opportunity. A repeat of that opportunity. May God restore time. May God restore opportunities. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every one of your family members that has been grounded for whatever reason, in the name of Jesus, as you are standing here, may the angel of the lord wherever they are across this nation or around the nations of the world may the angel of the lord ensure that in this season they are lifted i declare that they are lifted anyone called barren whether biological barrenness financial barrenness ministerial barrenness i speak to you be fruitful, multiply, replenish, subdue. I say it again, be fruitful, multiply, replenish, subdue. Every helper of destiny that must show up in this season for you to rise, wherever they are, I cry unto my God who is your God in the name of Jesus may they appear before your destiny hallelujah some of you have been at the same level you have not gone down but you have not gone up either in the name of Jesus this night I push you by prophecy step into the next level help them please step into the next level of your life this is the month of September when a woman is pregnant after nine months she's supposed to give birth and if she does not give birth the doctors have a way of inducing the birth in the name of Jesus everything in the loins of prophecy are located for you to be born in this season I speak to you as a spiritual midwife deliver in the name of Jesus everybody who spoke evil to the ears of your destiny helper that people who should lift you but because they had an information about you 
in the name of Jesus by the blood I declare a reconnection I declare a reconnection our time is gone but please believe this these are not empty words they are not empty words at all let me pray for your finances again this is what is squeezing people down squeezing families down people are giving up on God because of tea and bread because of the necessities of life listen koinonia i put a mark of exemption in this season over you hear me i command poverty to leave you like the day leaves the night in the name of jesus Christ. this is the beginning of the ember month where the spirit of death moves upon families people who have labored when it's now time to reap, they will say obituary, survive by. I forbid the earth from receiving your body. I forbid the earth from receiving your body. Listen, and for those of you appointed unto death, whether for you or your loved ones, by the name of Jesus Christ, we extend your life in this place. I pray for every student here I don't know what may be happening around your academics but if it requires change we change it now if it requires upgrade we upgrade it now if it requires justice we administer justice now if it requires mercy we provoke mercy now and everyone who is in final year here we graduate you in the name of Jesus Christ two more prayers and we are done everything that represents delay stagnation or limited progress the chain that will allow you move but not so far I break that chain now in the name of Jesus. I release you make progress. I release you make progress. I release you make progress. Last prayer point. Listen to me. Honor is better than money. You can have money and not have honor. Honor is better than education. You can be educated and not have honor. The Bible says, and Jabez, not was more anointed, was more honorable than his brethren. The grace that makes for honor, that can pick you out of a crowd and separate you. In the name of Jesus, may that grace rest upon you now. adding one prayer point to my, my, my spirit and we have to pray it and the sons of Issachar that they were men who had understanding of the times listen I want to release grace for discernment it's important to know you can miss seasons just because you are not alive you can they will come back but it will take a long time but I pray for you, the grace for discernment, to know seasons, receive that grace now. Maybe I should add one more prayer point. Some of you are praying, Lord, where do I go from here? Should I travel out of the country? Should I relocate to Abuja? Should I go to Lagos? See? Destiny decisions are never to be taken carelessly. Please hold on, hold on. Relax with this thing. You are praying. Listen, there are destiny decisions in life that you need the help of God. Who to marry? Where to live? How many children to give birth to? 
It looks natural, but it's spiritual. You can give birth to what will fight your blessing. Who to associate with? And Lot went with him. And Jonah went with them. Their experiences were not the same. I pray for you that in the matters of destiny, may the veil, the haziness, let it be torn into pieces tonight. I know a gentleman who had an evangelistic call. Sincere person with an evangelistic call. He went to open a church and he began to struggle to pieces as if God did not send him. No offering, no support, no open door. He was struggling because the pastoral grace was not there. Well intentioned, but no discernment. Again, I pray for you. Whatever you are doing now that is not in the blueprint of your destiny, whether ministerially speaking, business-wise, maritally speaking, I declare a correction now. I declare a correction now. Elijah was asked to wait at Bucheri for a season, not forever. And a raven brought bread, food for him, and he drank from the brook. But a time came when the brook dried. God needed to change strategy. If Elijah did not know he would die there, the same God can help you for 10 years. But by the 11th year, you would change strategy. And if you cannot discern what blessed you before can kill you, I pray for you. The grace to know when to switch. The grace to know when God is saying something else. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We bless you. Let the name of the Lord be glorified forever and ever. Jesus remains Lord. Amen. Where is that, my friend, who has been waiting for the altar call? He will be the first to come and stand here. While he stands, I want everybody here, overflow one, Overflow 2, Overflow 3, Overflow 4, and all the other overflows. You are saying, Apostle, I need Jesus, I need him fast, and I need him seriously. Whether to surrender your heart for the first time, or you are saying, I want to rededicate my life. He cannot be the only one here. Wherever you are, quickly come and join him. Quickly come and join him. I will only count one to five. If you are coming from outside, please rush. Come and join them. You are saying, Apostle, let this be the night that I encounter Jesus. Is there someone like that? One. Koinonia, is this the best you can do? Two. Please, if you are coming from outside, rush. Run to Jesus. Three. Please clear the way for them. If it's for the altar call, let them come. Apostle, I want to come, but my friend is stopping me. May that friend leave you alone in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to come, but people know me. He says that he who denies me for men, I will deny before my father. You have to rush to come. Someone is coming. Those coming from outside, please rush, 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 rush quickly please just encourage them so that they will come and stand hallelujah now I sincerely salute every one of you scriptures exalt us from the book of Proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words 
in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you